Happy, happy Tuesday. It is a very early coffee and cursy words because we are covering the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial live, live and in person. Why are we covering it live? Why wouldn't we be covering it live at this point? Today, we are rejoining the head of security, Johnny Depp's personal security guard on the stand. He is resuming cross-examination. I think we might have one other witness, and then it seems that Johnny Depp himself will be testifying. So we are in for it today. We have a lot happening. We have a lot to cover, and he is already on the stand. So I'm going to roll the intro, and we're going to do what we do. We're just going to cover this case with live commentary. Again, if you want to watch this case with Without commentary, without me talking over it, there are plenty of places like Court TV that are streaming it without commentary, though they do take commercial breaks. We're not taking commercial breaks. We are just riding this today. I am, until the end of Depp's testimony, we are in for it. So I've already told the mods, like, get ready to take breaks. We will probably take a short break and cut the stream and do a second stream over the Court's natural lunch break. Um, but... We have lots to do today. So if you want your friends to come join you in the chat, go tweet at them. Let them know that we are live doing this today. And I cannot wait to see this cross-examination because this is a witness that Depp's team is not going to really protect, if you will. They are going to let him stand on his own. He is a longtime former deputy sheriff who was medically retired. And so he can stand on his own and cross. So we might get some spicy cross-examination. Yeah, Dr. B just popped in and um, and dropped me some coffee. I will see if he comes in later. I will ask him to. We will see what happens. So let's roll the intro and let's get into this cross-examination. Right now, the witness is just reading something on the screen. So we're not, we're not missing anything yet. Remember, um, this is legal commentary. I'm a legal analyst. I've been an attorney for 15 years. None of this is legal advice or fashion advice because that's going to come up today too. Hey there. If we haven't met yet, I'm Emily D. Baker, the badass lawyer and everyone's favorite legal commentator. I'm the host of The Emily Show and I break down the legal shit behind the news and pop culture stories we all want to talk about. I have been a licensed attorney for over 15 years, but this is not legal advice. I should warn you, I'm a big fan of the cursey words. This channel is where the law nerds unite to talk about facts, not fuckery. So yesterday I had an issue with permissions and I totally forgot that that was that. that, was that, was that, was that. So, 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 uh oh. So, uh -oh. <laughs> So I totally forgot that that was a thing <laughs> and knew that I needed to fix it. So now we are fixed and I can get to where I was meant to be today. I should have remembered. I totally didn't. In real time, I was like, uh-oh, I need to fix this in real time. Sorry, y'all. I was trying to avoid the echoey mic and I failed. Let us go to this witness uh, live just staring at the attorneys and we will hopefully adjust for the volume. Of course we will. Sorry, Audio. I haven't. You have not. I have not. All right. Let's share this screen. We're professionals here. That's the best part. Is we are absolutely professionals here. Nope. Wrong screen. Correct screen. Yay! We have things. Let's make this big so we're not distracted by someone else's chat. Sorry for the echo, y'all. Need to 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 review this. Um, but my first question for you is just, is this a text exchange that you had with Mr. Oh, good Jeff, text messages. Uh, on June 12th, 2019. We love text messages. June 12th. Uh, I love that he had to pull out his reading glasses. They look exactly like my husband's reading glasses. Yeah, it has uh, my name and his name on there. Right. Um, and if it starts at the bottom and goes up, correct? No, I'm sorry. What do you no, mean it starts at the bottom and goes up? Put that, it on the screen. That, we don't okay. know what you're talking hard, about. Hard to orient yourself with these sometimes. Okay. Uh, at the bottom, yeah, I, I do see um, 6, 12, 19 at uh, 150. Red Joseph, I think this is going and to then, be the takeaway for a lot of people is that they're going to be like, you all suck are, and this is toxic so and why is this in court? Correct. So in the, in the bottom text, you're telling Mr. Depp that some people are, are at his house visiting and you say... Um, 
they'll be at the pool in Objection, 10. Objection, Your right? Honor. Hearsay. Also relevance. This is 2019. What's the relevance? Yeah, what she is the relevance? Testified that he hadn't helped facilitate Mr. Depp's drug use. So this is for impeachment. And this is, you got to read the text in context to see how it impeaches him. All right. We could come. Sure. They're going sidebar. So what impeachment means is if a witness says, hey, it's this or it's that, impeachment is them being proven to not have said something that is accurate. So I've never facilitated drug use. Presumably, these text messages would then say something to the contrary, like there's people at the pool who knows what else he's saying for completeness you need the top and the bottom of these text messages and that's why they're going to sidebar to impeach what's fun or interesting i guess i shouldn't say fun yeah i'll say fun what's fun about impeachment evidence is you don't always have to turn it over to the other side impeachment evidence can just be um just be held to held for you until you need to say it. However, if these are text messages between this security guard and Johnny Depp, then these would have been turned over by Depp's team. They're not something that was procured by Amber's team, like all out by themselves. Cause the only way they're getting those text messages is from, um, uh, turning over in discovery. So while they're at sidebar, today's stream does have a sponsor. So we are going to go ahead and roll our sponsor while they are arguing over impeachment at sidebar and say a huge, huge thank you to NordVPN for being such a huge supporter of the channel. Today's video is brought to you by NordVPN. If you haven't checked out NordVPN yet, what are you waiting for? There is a 30-day money back guarantee. NordVPN encrypts your data as it flies through the interwebs. They do not keep logs of what you are up to, and it does not slow down your browsing or streaming. I know. I've tried. <laughs> they have tremendously fast servers. You can pick from VPN servers all over the world and you can install Nord on up to six devices. So your phone, your laptop, your iPad, if you're traveling, if you have to be on unsecured Wi-Fi, you can still secure your data. Did I mention that Nord also double encrypts your data? Yeah, not just single encryption, double encryption. Go check it out today. Use code Emily D. Baker or go to nordvpn.com slash Emily D. Baker to get your exclusive deal. And that 30-day money-back guarantee. If you've signed up for Nord, let me know what you think. And thank you again for sponsoring today's video. We love that Nord is so supportive. So these are going through the text messages. You all right? Are they approaching again? He didn't even say a word. He didn't even say a word. That's all right. You should be sorry. We're already annoyed. <laughs> I'm teasing. Oh, he's approaching the witness, not the bench. Fantastic. That's better. <laughs> Emily, simmer down. It's it's too early in the day to be feisty. It is too early in the day Mr. to be ben, feisty. Do you remember giving a deposition in this case? I do. And you were under oath for that deposition, correct? When was it? I was. And I asked you a number of questions, right? You asked me several, yes. I did. And um, <laughs> little, little smile. He's like, uh huh. You can turn to page 111 yep. of this transcript, please. So, this is the transcript from the deposition, presumably. It's on page 28 of the, the document. I'm sorry. Tell him exactly where it is. Okay. And if you look at line 22, the last line, and then heading over to page 112. Yep. Nikki, I that? saw that. Got it. it the cats and have taken it over as their in, own. In your deposition, um, I asked you this question, and you gave this answer. Question. So is it fair to say that while you've seen Miss Heard yell and get emotional toward Johnny, you've never seen her do something that you would call physically violent or assault of Johnny? Answer. Correct. Did I read that right? He did. Okay, so he didn't see. I'd like to turn it to happen. May twenty first. He saw the aftermath. Fine, but um, what's interesting the is they moved on from those text messages real quick, right which right means they you, lost the you, objection. You adjourned for the day, correct? Correct. You and Mr. Ju uh, Jerry Judge brought Mr. Depp over to 
the penthouses at the Eastern Columbia building that night, right? We did. And you knew that he was going there to speak with Amber, correct? And gather some belongings. Your understanding was that Mr. Depp was going over there because they both wanted to talk and calm everything down, right? Objection calls for speculation as to what Ms. Heard wanted. That's fair. I'll, I'll sustain the objection. Yeah, that's fair. It's asking. It's asking. Mr. Depp told you that he and Amber were going to talk it out and talk about what's going on, correct? Correct. And he had wine in the car on the way over. I believe you testified yesterday, right? He did have a glass of wine. And um, it's... I, I think you, you testified it's possible he had been drinking during the day before you brought him over there, correct? Correct. I saw him with a wine glass um, after his meeting when he came out into the hallway. And okay. when you, um, no, I'm sorry, during the day before you picked him up to go over to the Eastern Columbia building, it's possible he had been drinking, correct? Well, we were at a meeting. He, he did have a glass of wine in his hand, so I presume he was drinking. Okay. And when you arrived at the Eastern Columbia building, you can't say one way or the other whether Mr. Depp was carrying wine with him into the building, right? I can't remember. You and Mr. Judge led him into Penthouse 3 and were in there for just a minute or two um, before you exited Penthouse 3, correct? Yes, give or take. And then you stayed outside in the hallway of Penthouse 3 for a bit, right? A short period of time, correct. I think you testified yesterday like 10 minutes. Is that right? Yeah, give or two. Um, and then you... You try remembering there, what you did you on a particular day for 10 minutes in 2019. Penthouse to Penthouse 5, the, the storage area where you had All a couch a and a TV and that sort of thing that you testified about, right? That's correct. Is that also known as the guard shack? A uh, modified version of the guard shack. It's it just is a place now. for us, as I testified yesterday, to you know uh, rest or have lunch or some coffee. Sometimes called the cubby hole. Is that right? Uh, we might have called that that. I don't I, give a I shit if it's called the cubby hole. Or... Yes. Okay. Sandy, it was medically us. legal. Please pull up. Plain. It was medically legal. And then it became legal for all purposes in California a number of years back. I do believe so. Yes. It's Which makes it so much easier to not have to deal with prosecuting. Can you, can you rotate that please? This is a great question. What's the goal of trying to impeach him? It's to try to prove to the jury that either he doesn't remember things the way he says, or he's not trustworthy, <laughs> or that he's so biased towards Johnny Depp that he's just and making maybe stuff just up and it shouldn't up, be please. trusted. So it's to poke at the veracity of the witness. And your honor, per permission to publish if, it, if it's I not our glasses Thank too. You. Oh. Permission Thank to you. publish means can we show um, the jury and all of us too. So Mr. Bet, if, if you... Just to, to orient us, am I correct in saying that the um, – well, could you this put your finger just question. on the, the guard shack area of Penthouse 5, please? Uh, sure. It's just the, the, it will... the, <laughs> the diagram, the schematics is kind of off because okay. the way Broadway is set up, it doesn't coincide with the way the buildings were. It's like your but map's can... bad. I can try to make it you. work, but yeah, your just, map sucks. I think, I think the screen will make a mark <laughs> if you show on it. Okay. We need hand lotion today. Today's going to be like that. I mean, I'm having a... Um, this is amazing. Your map's so bad, I can't figure this out. <laughs> I don't doubt it. You need to be able to twist it for hand. Well, okay, any okay, um, okay good. so this is, I'd say, right in this area right here. Okay. Is it showing up? Yes. Because there would be elevators to the right. It yeah, is. I would need okay. to be able to yeah. rotate the yeah, map yeah, to orient you. myself. Okay. I so can't just look at a map. That's and place down the hall way. from at, outside of that. Penthouse 3, right? Correct. And you you stayed in that guard shack for, um, I believe you said, five to ten minutes. Is that right? Yes. So if you spent about ten minutes outside Penthouse 3 and then five to ten minutes um, inside pen, inside the guard shack, you say you were at the building for what a total of 30 minutes or so it could have been a little bit longer it could have been 40 it could have been closer to an hour it was okay. um quite some time ago but you're you're fairly confident it was 40 minutes to an hour oh it's going to happen a lot tonight. around that time frame correct and you were you said that you arrived at the building sometime between 7 15 and 7 45 is that what you said yesterday okay, yeah Lori. what's Wrong. your best guess it would be an estimate guess, maybe 
more towards eight ish. Uh, but again, it could have been seven thirty. I just okay. Amber, I will answer this when we get to a break. All right. And so you stayed in the guard shack for five to 10 minutes, and then you left the guard shack and headed back up the hall toward the door of penthouse three, right? Yes. And at some point you heard Amber shouting and you let yourself into penthouse three, right? That's correct. The closest you got to Amber when you went into penthouse three was 15 to 20 feet, right? Around that, correct. And... You were in um, Penthouse 3 for just about 30 seconds to a minute before you left again with Mr. Depp, right? Around that time frame. You don't remember what Miss Heard was wearing, do you? I don't. And you can't remember if she was crying when you saw her, right? I didn't see her crying. You can't remember if she was crying, right? I just said I didn't see her crying. She could have been crying, remember. right? Objection. Calls for speculation. Oh, asked and, asked and answered. answered. Asked and answered. Different question. Well, asked and answered. And next question. And well, you can't remember if she had any home. makeup on or not, right? If she did, she had very little. Fred's. You just can't remember if she did, right? He's not going to change. This is a terrible I mean, tactic for yeah, Cross. Yeah, I mean, it's possible, but it, it was a long time ago. This is a terrible tactic for Cross. He answered the question and he goes, but you don't remember that, right? to try to get him to change his answer is not going to work well with this type of witness who was a law enforcement officer for so long. You're not going to trap him like that. He keeps trying to say things like, but you didn't see her crying. He's like, no, she wasn't crying, but you can't remember. Please. That's not going to work. That is not going to work deposition. with this type of witness. <laughs> Victorious. It is a it is a cat. Okay, that'd be page forty <laughs> page, as well. Correct? Page forty. Good yes. morning, okay. Judy, over on Facebook. And yeah. on line one, this um, stuff can't I asked you the question: Did Miss Heard have any? You couldn't tell if she was wearing any makeup, right? Your answer was: I can't remember if she, she changed had any it on the makeup on or not. Did I read that right? You did. And you don't know. What you have no personal knowledge of what transpired in Penthouse Three while you were outside of it that evening, correct? I don't. And you have no personal knowledge of whether Amber had a phone thrown in her face by Johnny Depp that evening, correct? I don't. Because you weren't there, right? That's correct. He was so you in left the room. Penthouse Three and then you went into Penthouse Five at Mr. Depp's insistence that he get into Penthouse Five, right? And that's correct. And he was agitated yes, at this time, right? Calls for speculation. I'm sorry. I, you said I went into Penthouse 3 or Penthouse 5 at this time? I'm sorry. You, you, left, you left Penthouse yep. 3 after 30 to 60 seconds with Mr. Depp and Mr. Judge. Not at this point, you Katya. you went to Penthouse 5, right? Correct. And that's because Mr. Depp was demanding to get into Penthouse 5, right? Yes. And Mr. Depp was agitated at this time, right? Calls for speculation. Yeah, I'd say he was agitated. And to ask if he seemed you, agitated. One of the reasons was that you could behavior? tell that he was agitated was because this wasn't the first time you had seen him agitated, right? That's a terrible question. Well, no. Mr. Depp told you to let him into Penthouse 5, and you did that, right? Yes. And when he left Penthouse 3 to go to Penthouse 5, you can't remember if he had wine in his hand or not, correct? I can't. Amy, I'm this sorry. witness is former cannot, law enforcement. Cannot. And when They're he walked into let Penthouse this lawyer 5, hang inside himself. were Rocky Pennington her fiance, Josh Drew, and another woman and a dog, right? That's correct. And Mr. Depp told them to get out of his penthouse, right? Yes. And they exited, right? They did. And you can't remember one way or the other whether Mr. Depp knocked anything off the table in any of the penthouses, right? It's possible he did, um, but I can't remember. Hello, Kate. Did you or Mr. Judge, just to be clear, did you or Mr. Judge destroy any property or knock anything off tables in any of the penthouses that evening? No. You have no personal knowledge of whether or not Mr. Depp was violent to Miss Heard at times when you weren't around them, correct? I have no knowledge. And Miss Heard may have suffered injuries at the hands of Mr. Depp over the years that you didn't witness or you didn't see, correct? Correct. Anything's possible. I'd like to, to end by just, just 
taking a look at the videos of you entering and exiting Hi, the building, I believe. Heather, could you pull up exhibit 672? And Your Honor, I, I believe- Oh, Angie, we're in for the um, long haul today. He's trying to make him question his memory in front of the jury to undo the damage that was done yesterday. That that's been admitted. I do have my uh, 672 admitted, correct? Yes, yes that's correct, yes. Your Honor. Thank okay. you. They admitted them yesterday. And the next one will be 666. Just to This is confirm. Amber's right. male attorney yeah, that did the first Thank part you, of the Your opening Honor. doing this cross-examination. They will take Heather, different can you play witnesses. this starting at uh, 1? This is going to well, be a security actually, before video. We start, does, do you see this on your screen, uh, Mr. Bett? I do. And you see the timestamp um, that at the bottom. That that shows what time the, the camera, uh, the the video was taken. Correct. We will get there, the just not with the these witnesses. The uh, okay, brain. let's go ahead and play this, Heather. The body cam will come in when those police witnesses come in and testify. We'll We're a long way from that, I think. Welcome. Anna, that's going to come up more probably later today. Um, the incident in Australia is horrific. It's horrific on all accounts. It's not going to do a ton of good. And the damage I was referring to That's yesterday is the pictures black and white shirt, right? of Depp's oh, injuries me. after this altercation because there's Depp body cam footage Correct. later in the and night Mr. Judge where the left. police declined Correct. to take a police report from Amber Heard. It depends on the judge generally This not. video is when you're entering the Eastern Columbia building to take him to Penthouse 3, correct? I don't think we're there yet. This is a six-week uh, trial correct. and we're on day five. So it's actually a good bit earlier than you testified to, right? It's at 7.02 if I'm converting military time to... See my run? I well, have Well, that's it what the time stamp says. Channel. I mean, I don't know how it was calibrated and, and so forth, but according to the screen, it does say 19.02 hours, which is 7.02. 7.02 p.m., right? Correct. On May 21st, 2016. That's basically yeah, right. cross-examination. Okay. Heather, you can take that down, please. Please pull up exhibit 666. Can you publish to us? We would like to see what's happening. We want to know. Could it be shorter than six weeks? Possibly, but that's the estimate both lawyers gave. And most and lawyers the, are better the at time estimating their time than me. Is, well, let, let's go ahead and play the video first. So four days a week for six weeks is how many days we're expecting unless something happens. There can be hiccups. It could be shorter. It could be longer. But these lawyers have been pretty good at estimating their time. This was something I was terrible at, but the ADHD of it all. The judge would be like, how many more questions do you have? I'm like, I don't know until I'm done. It depends what they say. I have a question. They say something. We might need all new questions. So I don't know what they're looking at. Oh, the lawyer speaking doesn't That's you on the right again, right? Great limited questions, yeah, but he was Mr. the judge more in the middle, right? concise. Yes. And that's Mr. Lawyers. Depp on the left. Yes. Correct? Yes. Let me see if there's another stream that has these published for us. I'm really annoyed. And the timestamp on this video is 2029 or 829 p.m., right? That's correct. So you were actually in, in the Eastern Columbia building for about yes. an hour and a half, yes. Mr. Depp, that evening, right? Well, according to these uh, the timestamps, yes, it does say that it didn't seem like it was that long. It seems like all the feeds don't have, have it. Further. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Redirect. Wow. They're done with cross. That was in and out. That was faster than I thought it would be. They were just like, you have no personal knowledge. You didn't actually see Johnny get hit by Amber. You didn't actually see Amber hit Johnny. And then they Mr. got Bett, You previously testified that, was, um, that when you left penthouse three and restrained. went into penthouse five, um, who was inside that penthouse when you entered with Mr. Depp? Uh, Josh Drew. Uh, an unknown female and a little dog. Was Miss Pennington inside Penthouse 3 when you entered with Mr. Depp? I'm sorry, you said Penthouse 5, didn't you? Am I getting my numbers? You're right. My apologies. I'm Let me sorry. start over. <laughs> the lawyers are getting confused, <laughs> not you. When you left Penthouse 3 and mm -hmm. went into Penthouse 5, who was inside? Let's try this again. Okay. Uh, Josh Drew, an unknown female and a uh, cute little dog. Yes. So where was this is was she inside cross examination and now entered? redirect or at penthouse five and there can be a recall. She was not in penthouse five. No, where so this is just laying the, the foundation for the Ms. testimony Pennington that's coming later with this incident. She was standing next to Miss Heard in penthouse number three. Yeah, that cross was 
about a half an hour, quicker than I, I thought. I think there's been also a little bit of confusion about I'm April thankful. 21st, 2016 and May 21st, 2016. So let's start with April 21st, 2016. What occurred? Objection just to the, the Miss Vasquez testifying. Oh, good I'm just God, God in heaven. Right, well, Your Honor, go I'll, I'll try to Thank limit you. that. Um, she wasn't testifying. Where she was said Mr. To the Depp witness, on there's April 21st, 2016? These dates. <sighs> On uh, April 21st, protection. he was at a meeting in um, his production office. Okay. And I believe you testified previously that you saw him holding a glass of wine. Is that right? I'm disappointed we Correct. don't have photos of the dog. Um, did he appear intoxicated to you after that meeting? He didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't catch that. He did not. He did not. Okay. Now, on May 21st, 2016, was Mr. Depp drinking wine that day? He did have wine with him, yes, correct. And at what point did you observe Mr. Depp with wine on May 21st, 2016? Um, he probably had it in the car with him when we were driving down. Deputy, and, um, don't drive people with open He could have finished it prior to us walking uh, to Penthouse 3. And did Mr. Depp, based on your observations, Mr. Bett, appear intoxicated to you on May 21st, 2016, before he arrived to the Eastern Columbia building? Yes, he Lisa H. He owned all the penthouses on the top floor not. of the Eastern Columbia building. I will try to say when they're switching out anything that made you concerned who for is Ms. talking and what's happening. Objection, foundation, and leading. I'll, I'll allow it if you can answer. That's fine. I did not. Like, Stop it. What, if anything, did you observe that made you concerned for Mr. Depp's safety? It's a fair question. From the injuries I saw on his face when on a few occasions I took photos of him. Okay. Nothing further. Thank All you, right. Your Honor. Is this witness subject to recall? No, Your Honor. All right. Not subject to recall, no, correct? No, no. Okay. All right. So you're free to go. He, you can have a seat subject in, to in the recall courtroom. means, all right. Thank will you. this Thank witness need to come up? No, he's been released from right, his subpoena. Witness. He's done. I like uh, the blue suit. Thank you, Your Honor. Plaintiff calls Keenan Wyatt. Uh, I Kenan like the Wyatt. tie. Could you spell that name for me? K-E-E-N-A-N, -E -E last name Wyatt, W-A-W-Y-A-T-T. -T. All right. Thank you so much, Thank sir. you, Your Honor. So Keenan Wyatt is up next. The camera angles today are not giving as much of the audience as we got yesterday, which I find to be a little disappointing. They admitted the pictures at the end of the day yesterday. Um, yesterday we had some camera swings, so we saw Depp's face, and we are not getting some of those change of angles today, which I'm not loving um dan yeah i really liked this witness overall i mean he testified like a cop but he admitted the pictures which was exactly his job and that's all we got so no we are still in johnny depp's case so this is depp's case we are um we're still chugging along in the plaintiff's case i'm going to try to get to a few questions while we um while we are uh changing out witnesses so I'm going to leave the audio feed up. You might hear it in the background. Yeah, I know there was an echo when I switched over. I totally forgot. I'm going to have to fix the permissions on my Google. Sorry, y'all, for the for the inter, intergalactic planetary intergalactic echo. Are they able to talk about Amber's misdemeanor domestic violence arrest in a previous relationship? It will probably come up as impeachment of Amber Heard when she testifies. I imagine that's how that come up will come up. But yes, um, I imagine that that's when that will come up. There will be motions or there have been motions about it, I'm sure. Um, Alicia said, thank you, Emily. I love your channel. I love the fact that you're commenting on this trial so we all understand what's going on and why. Me too. I mean, there are lots of lawyers commenting on it. I try to do it on the days that I'm available. And if not, I will pop along to other people's streams. But this is our, you know, Coffee and Cursey Words is our Tuesday stream. So I'm not going to cut our Tuesday stream to go hop around the interwebs. I'm going to be here with the law nerds. This is for us to have a conversation. This witness is still not in the room yet. Have you watched the documentary Phoenix Rising? I have not, but I will put it on the list. It looks like we have a deputy walking up. And that means we should be getting a witness walking up to be sworn in very shortly. They'll be sworn in and put under oath. And then they'll start the questioning 
I'm very disappointed that we're not getting to see near that is the court clerk swearing them in. Um, we're not getting to see nearly as much of what's going on in the gallery today um, as we did. So this is Keenan Wyatt, who's going to tell us exactly who he is. Yes, sir. Good morning, Mr. Wyatt. Morning. Would you oh. please state your full name for the record? Mr. Mr. Chu. Wyatt. Mr. Wyatt, where do you live? Thousand Oaks, California. What do you do for a living? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm a sound technician on feature films. How so this should be the last witness before Johnny Depp. Uh, over 35 years. Would you please briefly describe for the jury what a sound technician on films work does? Well, the uh, technically just do the uh, dialogue recording while on, on the set, so it's as clean as possible. Do you know I don't Johnny know why Depp? Why we haven't seen yes, it today? How do you know Mr. Depp? Uh, I've known Johnny for over 25 years, and we're good friends. Have you ever worked with Mr. Depp? Yes, I have. For how many of Mr. Depp's films have you worked with him as the sound technician? Uh, dozens, of, dozens of films. Would you please just name a few of them for the jury? Pick the jury's favorites. Uh, I've done the five pirates, pirates the, the Caribbean movies, uh, Alice in Wonderland, uh, Rum Diary, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Ninth Gate, uh, Lone Ranger, number of films. I forgot about what Lone part Ranger. did Mr. Depp play in the five Pirates of the Caribbean? Same movies? Captain Jack Sparrow. They keep wanting you, to remind uh, the Mr. jury Wright, are you currently that the jury employed loves by Mr. Depp? No. Captain Jack Sparrow. Have you ever been employed by Mr. Depp? No. Have you ever been paid by Mr. Depp? No. Have you ever worked for any of Mr. Depp's companies? Yes, I worked for Infinitum Nile. When was the last time you worked for Infinitum Nile? Motion uh, granted his hair. Last fabulous. time I was there was probably 2017. I, I love everything. A, on a contract basis. I love the hair. as an employee. I love the and quirky glasses. And would you glasses. very briefly describe for the jury what work you did for Infinitum Nile uh, in 2017? I, I ran let the, the media library with them, did some archiving, look recording, at the jury. editing. Don't look at the like lawyer. That. Look at the jury. How this would you describe briefly your working relationship with Mr. Depp in the 25 years or so that you've worked together? Uh, Johnny's great to work with on films. He's he always he comes needs to look at the jury, and, uh, not the lawyer, when he's saying knows this. what he wants to do and uh, makes it for a fun day. When so we're the lawyer is standing with what director? The lawyer is standing over here. Mr. Depp worked the jury together. is sitting oh, over here. Directors. Um, he needs to look but, uh, this we've way. We've done several films, multiple films with multiple directors. And the lawyer like, should uh, step to the side of the podium. Tim to Burton, Gore Verbinski, get him Rob this Marshall. Way. We've done multiple. Look films at the with jury. Them. Why did you and Mr. Depp work with those directors more than once? Uh, Johnny makes it easy to work with. Uh, foundation. Your Honor, he's laid the foundation. He's worked with Mr. Depp for 25 years on more than a more than 10 feature films. And all of Ooh, no, we're back to Birdhoff, the Honor. female attorney, making objections. So this why did you, is going to be done by her. Yeah, he lost his train of thought. Why did you, Mr. Depp, uh, work with those directors more than? more than once well he, he uh the directors like working for him he comes Direction, with you're saying move to strike your honor he uh you just uh allowed the uh question yep i'll, I'll allow it go ahead she should be uh, johnny makes it easy to work with he's uh he comes prepared he knows what he wants to do with the characters and uh he collaborates very well with the directors this makes the jury perk Is up pirate five this one of the feature in. films on which you work together with mr depp yes was Mr. Depp ever late to the set on Pirates 5? Yes. Do you it know why Mr. Depp was late on those occasions? Uh, well, arguing going on between him and Amber. Objection, hearsay, foundation. I'll sustain the objection. It said, did you know why? What based, um, strike that. You can't strike it, you're in trial. I mean, did you I communicate you can, with crew members on the set of Pirates 5? Every day, yes. Was Mr. Depp's lateness a problem for the crew? Objection calls for hearsay. All right, I'll sustain as to what the crew may have told him. Well, I was just um, asking the threshold question of whether he had spoken with the crew. You're right, I'll sustain the objection. It's a yes or no, you need that foundation in. Whew. Putting aside occasional lateness on the set of never. Pirates 5, was production of Pirates 5 ever suspended for any period of time? Objection calls for hearsay foundation. He was there. How would he know that? 
know, if you can ask how he knew it, he finally laid the foundation. How did you know whether production of Pirates 5 was ever suspended? I was on the film. I was working on the film, so. Okay. Uh, I was there. So I know it was suspended probably for two or three weeks. And why yes. was it suspended for two or three weeks? Uh, Johnny had to go back to Los Angeles because uh, his finger had been cut off, tip of his finger had been cut off. Do you have any understanding of how Mr. Depp's, or the top of Mr. Depp's finger was cut off? All right. Let it go. This is foundational. No, I don't know. Exactly. Okay. And then we move on. And I believe you testified that production was suspended for a period of I want to see the female attorney weeks. jumping up and down, uh, getting Did there come a time when Mr. Depp returned from Los Angeles to Australia for completion of the, field, of, of the shooting of Pirates 5? Yes, he did. Who is Sean Bailey? Uh, he's an executive at Disney. After Mr. Depp returned to the set of Pirates 5 in Australia, what, if any, interactions did you observe between Mr. Depp and Mr. Daly? Uh, Sean had come to set one day and uh, sat and talked with Johnny for a while, and they talked about collaborating and doing some stuff in the future. Was it a Again, friendly conversation? Absolutely. Foundational. Yes. Has Mr. Depp ever worn an earpiece in any of the many movies uh, in which Very you've worked much. with him? Yes. For what purpose are earpieces generally used by actors on sets? Well, I've worked Objection, with... Your Honor. First of all, relevance, foundation. What's the relevance? That is May the we approach, Your Honor? Okay, sure. Oh, I want to know the relevance, too. What's the relevance with earpieces? I'm very, very interested in that. Um, so this one, yes, look at the jury, S give a smile, say hello, make yourself at home in this courtroom. Um, I've actually started wearing a different earpiece to do this. So I'm going to get to a few, a few questions because it's very, again, very interesting to see what foundation this witness is going to lay. He was on set in Australia. We know that's when Depp and Heard had this huge row in the house that they were renting with blood written on the walls and the tip of Johnny's finger getting cut off. But this attorney objecting so much, the female attorney Birdoff, the female attorney Birdoff for Amber Heard objecting so much just alerts Wyatt, the jury that they Mr. don't want Depp that information ever in. Has worn an earpiece in any of the movies? So he won again he the objection. Maybe? Uh, and she's going to keep objecting. Stop okay. it. You just yes, lost. Yes. When was the first time you used an earpiece with Mr. Depp? First time we used it was on uh, a movie he was directing called The Brave. Um, we were doing a scene with uh, Marlon Brando, who wears an earpiece for receiving his dialogue. Action. I'll allow it. It's fine. Go ahead. It's fine. Go uh, ahead. Marlon uses an earpiece for uh, for his dialogue. And Objections are a bit late. It was a long shooting day, and we let uh, Johnny, as the director, let Marlon go after we shot Marlon's section of the film. And then to for Johnny's character to act against something other than just a blank nothing, we put... Marlon's performance in an earpiece in, into Johnny yes. so he could act up against Marlon's performance. I would be a terrible judge because I'd be Mr. ready to Depp throw things and it's an only 45 for minutes into trial. Other purpose other than listening uh, to Mr. Brando's dialogue? After that, we started using an earpiece all the time um, where Johnny would listen to music while acting. Huh. Um, we would play all different kinds of music depending on the character. He was uh, he was playing. He and I would talk about it beforehand, and it sometimes it'd be classical, sometimes it'd be rock, sometimes it would be blues. It depended on the character. That's fascinating. To what extent, if any, did you and Mr. Depp use that process in other movies in which you worked together? We used that on every movie. I love using music to get into character. Mr. I think that's Wyatt, fascinating. on those occasions, in addition to feeding Mr. Depp music, did you ever read lines to him? Yes. Why did you read lines to Mr. Depp? Um, Johnny typically likes to go into makeup in the morning and write his own dialogue and rewrite <laughs> his dialogue. So sometimes 
there's not enough time to always to rem, you know to remember the lines and learn them. So I would remind him in his ear sometimes while, so while he's music rewriting was at the same time. He's rewriting Mr. White, his dialogue. In your long experience working That's awesome. with Mr. Depp on films, how would you describe his level of preparedness on the set? He's absolutely uh, prepared. He knows what he wants the character to be. He he collaborates with the act uh, with the director on what um, what his ideas are, but he always comes very prepared. This is going to combat and the Mr. drug White, and alcohol during use. your long relationship with Mr. Depp. What, if any, opportunity have you had to observe his sense of humor? That's why we're here. <laughs> Quite often. How would you describe to the jury Mr. Depp's sense of humor? Uh, he, he likes like it's British humor. He's, he's uh, he, you know, um, sometimes a little dark, maybe. Uh, he likes plays on words, you know, that sort of thing. Pam, this is going Monty to... Python? Monty Python, there's a there's a show in England called The Fast Show, which this is the jury's watching. not gonna understand that, but this is going to Johnny using Mr. the word. Mr. Wyatt, what if any relationship do you have with Mr. Depp outside of your working relationship? So uh, we're close. Uh, I used to uh, after a film, sometimes he'd call and I would go on vacation with uh, he and his family. This on the acting stuff is going to his you drug go and alcohol on use vacation with and Mr. Depp and his family. Uh, so I've heard he would call after a, after a film, and he would be going away with the the kids and Vanessa, and he would say, "Hey, you know, we're going we're going to the island. Would you come with me and stuff? Or we're going to France. Would you come along?" And sure, why not? Would you please uh, give the jury Vanessa's full name? Uh, Vanessa Paradis. And would you please uh, tell the jury who too. she is? Uh, she is the look mother look at of them. Johnny's good. two kids. Good, look at them. They'll Jack like you. You've got Rose. good hair. And Mr. Wyatt, uh, I like him. on how many occasions, if you can recall? Did you accompany Mr. Depp, uh, Ms. Parody, and Johnny's two children on vacation? Several times. And this is going to go did, to Johnny Depp's On those Depp's several occasions where you accompanied drinking. them on vacation, did you ever observe Mr. Depp and Vanessa interact with each other? Sure. This yes. is going really to those text messages what you observed? that a U.S. jury were, might find objectionable that are was his fine. humor. It was a family. Did you ever hear or see Mr. Depp yell or raise his voice at Vanessa Paradis, the mother of his children? Not that I recall. Did you ever on any occasion yep. see Mr. Depp physically abuse Vanessa? Never. And I believe you testified, Mr. Wyatt, yes. that Mr. Depp's and I will leave all these up. children, Lily Rose and Jack, Unless long crime were there on sassy. those vacations. Is that correct? Yes. Did you have occasion to observe... Mr. Depp's interactions with his children. Sure, yes. How, would you please describe for the jury very briefly Mr. Depp's interactions with his children, he, Jack and Lily Rose? He was a very loving father. He, he used to do stuff with the, the kids all the time, his going swimming at the island up. and teaching them scuba diving and you know, just drawing, a lot of drawing, doing artwork. He Did he ever father. yell or raise his voice at his children? Not that I recall. Nothing his that voice just out, lights no. up. Mr. Wyatt, on what, if any occasion, have you seen with Mr. Depp kids. drink alcohol? Oh, uh, we would drink, <laughs> we drink alcohol quite often. Yep. And on those occasions in which you uh, had alcohol with Mr. Depp, island. how, if at all, did his behavior change? I, I don't remember it changing. This at is all. consistent with yesterday's testimony changing. too that Johnny Depp would drink no, no. and was kind of Sleepy. just the same. <laughs> No. Have you ever seen Mr. Depp use drugs? Uh, I've seen him take pills. Him. Um, don't know what they were. I wouldn't know what they were, but that's all. Based on your observations, when you have seen him taking I want to go drink with him. How, if at all, did the taking of pills affect his behavior? Uh, I, I didn't see any change in job. I would say I'm sad we're, we're not getting changing. Um, the information. Mr. Wyatt, do you know the defendant in this case? Ms. Amber Heard. Yes. When did you first meet Ms. Heard? Uh, on the set of Rum Diary. On how many occasions, if at all, did you see Ms. Heard after that? Depp absolutely um, drinks several, a lot. We know that. Several times. We know that he absolutely drinks consistently. Would you please describe for the jury very briefly it's whether his your relationship behavior changes with Ms. Heard in a way consistent with what Heard is saying. First few times. I mean, I don't really have a relationship with her. We didn't. We didn't sit and talk. I didn't. 
it didn't hang out with her or anything like that. I don't think he likes her very much. Look at his face. Did there come a time when you became aware that Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard were romantically involved? Yes. How often did you see Mr. Depp after he started the uh, romantic relationship with Ms. Heard? Oh, I don't recall. I didn't, I, I didn't see him that often, but. Ali Rowe, they've got often, to combat that often, because American juries are going to find it shocking in those, um, how in those text messages. How often were you together, strike that, how often did you interact with Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard when the two of them were together? Uh, just uh, only occasionally did I see him. I mean, we, we would, uh, I would leave him alone, let him have his time with, with Amber. I, I did yesterday and I will again. Interfering. And, and, and on those occasions where you interacted with Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard as a couple, uh, did you ever hear Mr. Depp yell at or raise his voice to Ms. Heard? No. On what occasions, if any, did he ever raise his hand to or otherwise uh, abuse Ms. Heard? I've never seen him be violent towards anybody. Yeah, he's a and great witness could, for Johnny, uh, but this is Johnny's did case there come in chief. A, uh, switch gears here. That's uh, who did he's there calling, come a time and that's why. In May 2014, when you traveled with Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard by private plane from Boston to Los Angeles. <laughs> yes. So this will be a fight on who the plane that they're going to talk about. Who else was on that Boston plane flight? Uh, it was Amber and Johnny, uh, Stephen, uh, Savannah, and Jerry Judge and myself. And would you please uh, tell the jury who is Stephen? Uh, Steven Duders is uh, Johnny's assistant. Who is Savannah? Savannah was um, Amber's welcome, assistant. You're welcome, psychedelic yoga. And I think the Yoda. jury has heard the I'm name get it Jerry wrong every Judge, time, but, but I always know what it means in my head. If you could please explain to the jury again who Jerry Judge is. Jerry Judge is uh, Johnny's security. Mr. Yeah, Wyatt, man. why were you on that flight that night? Does Mr. Wyatt also play guitar with I don't them? don't know I the exact does. circumstances of that flight. I didn't travel with the two of them that often, I was probably headed back to Los Angeles to see my daughter. And before you got on the flight, how did you arrive at the airport that night? Uh, we came in a car. When you say you came in the car, with whom did you come in the car? Uh, it was uh, Jerry, Stephen, Nathan, Johnny, and myself. Yes, Paul Batten is going to be a witness. Is Nathan? Nathan is, uh, is Johnny's other assistant, Nathan Holmes. What, if any, alcohol or drugs did you see Mr. Depp take while on the car this ride? This is foundation to, the to combat on the Amber's car ride, I allegations don't, I about don't what happened any, on this flight. Anything being taken. We, uh, Johnny, I know, had called Jack during the car ride to talk to him, to tell him we were on our way. And uh, we were listening to the uh, World Cup that was going on at the time. And if you could just remind the jury who Jack is. Jack is Johnny's a uh, little boy. Remind all of us. We don't know. When you and Mr. Depp and the, and the security personnel arrived at the plane, who, if anyone, was there at the plane? The plane had come from New York with Amber and Savannah already on it. Long, what, if anything, did you observe about Miss Hurd's behavior on that Boston flight? Uh, well, she was giving Johnny the cold shoulder. Yes. Being quiet. 2016. Um, and, uh, you know, seemed pouty. What, if any, conversation did you have with Am uh, Ms. Hurd? I think pouty's a fair... Uh, at a one fair, point, um, I went up to her and said... Characterization. Uh, something to the effect of, you know, he cares about you. And all of a sudden, she snapped and started yelling at Ooh. me. How dare you talk to me? Get oh. away from me. You know, Who so yells at this man? I went back to a seat and minded my own business. Yeah, when she you did. said those things to you, um, would you describe the tone of her voice if you remember it? Bitchy. She, she was abruptly loud. It was a quiet plane. All of a sudden, it got very loud. And I believe you testified. You went back to your seat, or yeah. you moved. Um, no, a man would probably get described next? as moody or sullen. Uh, not Johnny had said something to her like, you know, don't talk to my friend that way. And I, I just stayed in my seat and finished the rest of the flight. And after you went back. He was trying to, to defuse, seat, it sounds to what like. what extent, if any, were you able to see Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurt? Uh, it, it, I was able to see them very clearly. What, if any, violence or physical altercation did you observe? Between Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard, once you'd gone back to your seat, 
I, I've never seen Johnny be violent towards anybody. To, to what extent, if any, did you observe Mr. Depp or Ms. Hurd hit, kick, or throw anything at each other on the plane? No, I don't recall that at all. Which Mr. Wyatt was what she Mr. Said. Depp consuming any alcohol on that flight? Sure, yes. Did he seem intoxicated? Seem intoxicated? I No, he seemed like Johnny. No, he seemed normal. This is a, a time, Mr. marital Wyatt, case wrapped in a defamation learned, civil uh, lawsuit. Uh, Mr. Depp so it is a defa and defamation Ms. Hurd were civil were getting lawsuit. married uh, to each other. That's yes. a mess. How did you find out about that there would be a wedding? I was at the Infinitum office, and uh, Christy uh, came to me and said, "Hey, uh, I, I'm just asking. It's not for the proof. I'm just it's asking not for the how he found out about the wedding." It's for the effect on the hearer, yeah, not relevant. for the truth of the matter. Maybe they obviously got married. This is the dumbest fucking objection. Like, literally save it. He, they're asking, they got married. We know they got married. Like, is this really what you want to have to go to the bench for? Because he was told that they were getting married? How did you find out? I was told. Why in the fuck are we fighting over this? We all know they got married. This is dumb. Ugh, she pisses me off. This is dumb. This is a dumb objection. Stop it. Stop it. It's a big secret that they got married? No. For fuck's sake. Perspective would go a long way here. Just cross-examine him. <sighs> Mr. Wyatt, did you end up attending the wedding? Yes, I did. Where was that? Where did the wedding take place? Well, There's two weddings. Uh, one at... Uh... One at Betty Sue's house, um, Who's Johnny's Betty mom's Sue? house, and okay, then another you. one on the island. The uh, one on the island I did not attend. What, if anything, did you observe at the Los Angeles ceremony that you attended at uh, Betty Sue, at Betty Mr. Sue's Depp's house. mother's house? Um, it was all very quick. I mean, we all found out about it at the last moment. Um, <laughs> These cats are living their best life a bit of confusion. Johnny had a friend from out of town, and she wasn't sure what was going on. Um, little Jack didn't understand what was going on. Uh, I'll sustain this. Other people, go ahead. He can only say what he saw, what he thought, what he observed, what he felt. So what, he talk if about anything, what he did you observe about yep. Ms. Hurd's demeanor at the ceremony? Uh, she was very happy, oh, yes. go lucky. She was all dressed up. All of her friends were nicely dressed up. It's and the Amica Cream Lady, the female wedding. attorney Burdoff. Have you ever in the course of your interactions with Ms. Hurd, ever seen any marks, injuries, or bruises on her? I have not, no. During the decades that you have known Mr. Depp, to what extent, if any, are you aware of any woman other than Ms. Hurd accusing him of abuse? It's asking if he's aware. I I'll allow it. Yes. I've, I've never seen Johnny abuse anybody, ever. Thank you very much, Mr. Wyatt. That's all I have. Right Cross examination is going to get way annoying. Right. Let's go ahead and take our uh, Ooh, morning, morning break. break for 15 minutes. Uh, do not say anything. Uh, to, to any, do not talk to me about the case oh and my. don't look, look up anything. If a juror needs to address something to me, please write it down and give it to the deputy. Okay? Oh. All right. Thank you. You're excused. I wonder if the jurors looked like they were trying to ask a question. I wish we could see Depp and Heard. I've looked for other streams. No, you're allowed to go to the bathroom, sir. You can. Wait till the jury leaves, and then you can go to the bathroom. So when we come back, we're going to get cross-examination with Birdhoft or whatever or Depp, uh, Heard's female attorney's name is, the one that's really abrasive and kind of combative, um, the one that talked about the Ambica cream, which is annoying. Mr. Amy Yost is saying Court TV. In the middle of your testimony, you can't discuss the case or your testimony with the attorneys or with Mr. Depp at this time, okay? All right, thank you. Let's, um, back. Let's make it 1120. Okay, we'll come back 1120. All right, so 1020. So we've got about 20 minutes. Court TV goes to commercials, which is one of my problems with their feed, but I will go take a look. Um, I will keep them on in the background. But Court TV runs all of these cameras. So whatever we're getting from Court TV, we're also getting from these cameras. So I'm going to go ahead and answer some questions while we take a break and give you kind of my thoughts on it. So with Court TV, we get, again, breaks and what have you. And I don't see them, Amy, 
uh, live streaming right now. Wait, let's see if this is it. I'm going to just take a look. I don't see them live streaming. I see older videos on their channel. So that's why I've been using the feed that I've been using, but they're the ones who do the camera and then the cameras, um, are shared with everybody. So we are now on a break. I'm going to answer some question. Uh, the Amica cream. Yes. This attorney has no idea, um, what is going on. So, Amy, oh, sorry, I will. I jumped back and forth, but I will jump back. They're showing both Amber Heard and Johnny Depp as well as the exhibits. Well, I will go look when we come back live because all the feeds are supposed to be sharing Court TV's feed. So I will absolutely look um, and go take a look. So she was trying to say Arnica cream. She kept saying Amica cream. It was super, super annoying. So the cross is going to be done by... Um, Birdhoff. I think I don't even know if that's her name. It's Bredhoff, B R E D. I'll go pull it up. Let me pull it up so we can all decide how to say her name. My cats are choosing violence this morning because I'm already um because I'm already streaming. So let me go and pull that up while I answer some questions and see. I am using uh let me look at Sky News. So, how long am I staying on today till Johnny Depp is done? I am here till Johnny Depp is done. I'm here till Johnny Depp is done. Like, that's it. I'm here. I'm here. So I will go look at Sky News's feed and pull that up so we can see it. So right now, there's nothing as we knew there would be, but because they're on break for another, like, 15 minutes, which is good because we're going to get to some questions. So let's see. I wish I could watch this trial without a strong bias of the viewers and hosts towards Johnny Depp. Um, you can. It's streaming without any commentary on numerous channels across the interwebs. The thing is, what you're going to see right now from me is evaluating Johnny Depp's side. Johnny Depp's side of this is what's being presented right now. He's the plaintiff. He presents his side first. So right now, I'm evaluating Johnny Depp's case. That's what I'm looking at. When Amber Heard starts presenting her case, we're going to be talking about Amber Heard's case and the things that aren't good for Johnny. So Part of that is because we're evaluating his case right now because that's the part of the case that we're in. So that's what it is with that. Let me look at the, um, let me try to find the transcript that I'm looking for because then we'll at least have the names of the attorneys. The male attorney that's talking right now is Depp's attorney, Ben Chu, which is so much easier for me to say. His name is Chu. It's C-H-E-W. I've got that. Maybe this is Brett Hoft. Let's see. We're going to just go ahead and share this Elaine Bredhoft, B-R-E-D-E-H-O-F-T. Do we just go with Bredhoft? Yes, maybe that. We just do that. I guess so. That's what it is. So she's the one who um, I am not a huge fan of her style. I find her to be uh, kind of abrasive. And um, yeah, I felt like I was being lectured during opening and that kind of put me off a little bit. Her style, I do not love. Um, what is the point of Amber's lawyer objecting so much? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they're hoping to hold, what they're hoping to keep out. Um, I, I don't know if they're trying to throw the questioner off their game or if there's things they are actually trying to keep out. Some of them seem a little bit petty, which is interesting. So. It's just an interesting thing. Um, so let us go to um, some of the questions. So, and I'm going to pull this back up to make sure I don't lose the stream. So it's nice to take a morning break so we can talk. And then when we take a lunch break, I will probably take a break, a quick break, and then start a second stream so we can do an afternoon stream. So we'll probably do it that way. Um, I should probably get that set up in a minute, but I don't know what time they're going to break for lunch. Maybe I'll just go through lunch. Maybe we just won't break the stream. Who knows? We'll figure it out. We're, we're going to have to do something. Um, how do you determine how much you need to remember to be considered unimpeachable? Um, they will try to impeach all witnesses. So it just, it, it goes to honesty. You can honestly forget certain things and remember certain things. I had a really interesting witness in my first felony trial. It was a robbery of a prostitute who was trying to buy drugs. So she was trying to buy drugs 
from a drug dealer um, in like a underground subterranean parking. She had been working that evening. She wanted no part of law enforcement contacts at all. She didn't want to report it to the police as so often happens when people are engaged in illegal activity. They don't always want to report to police. And while you can't necessarily, if somebody steals your drugs and run away, you can't necessarily report it, but she was assaulted and her money was taken. The witness who was down there was also down there to buy illegal narcotics and had been drinking all day. And so on cross-examination, the defense attorney is like, so you forget things? He's like, I forget things all the time. I've been drinking since I was like 15 years old. And he goes through all of the problems he has. And she goes, well, how do you remember this? And he looked dead at the defense attorney and then at the jury. And he goes, I'll never forget this. I've never seen anyone hit a woman like that. And the entire courtroom went silent. So though there are... Um, questions about people's memory. He's like, this is burned into my mind because it was traumatic for me because I've never seen that. And I won that case, even though the victim of the robbery didn't come to court. So it was a, so it really just depends on the incident, how the witness presents and ultimately the jury decides. We talked about this a little bit, Amanda. The misdemeanor domestic violence will probably come up to impeach her at some point um, after she testifies. Can you do a video on the Marilyn Manson lawsuits against him by several of his victims? Do you think he will be on the witness list? I have not seen him on the witness list here, though I know he was in Australia, but I would need to go back and look because it's been a minute since I've looked at that witness list and I honestly don't remember. I got very caught up in the Paul Bettany and the Elon Musk of it all. I have not read all of his lawsuits yet, but it is on my list of stuff I might cover. So I do not know if I will be covering that yet or not. I need more research before I can tell you one way or the other, because we've got this and we've got the Kardashian lawsuit going on. They were trying to pick a jury yesterday. Y'all, can we just take a minute? Can we just take a minute? The Kardashians were trying to pick a jury yesterday and the jurors were coming in saying things like, I can't be fair on this trial. I hate the Kardashians. And you've got them all sitting there going, um, you know, we hate it, blah, 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 which was very interesting. Can a witness answer back to a lawyer that they are doing it wrong? It happens. There's times that lawyers will be like, can you just answer the question? And the witness will be like, can you just ask a better question? It doesn't always play well in front of a jury when the witnesses get really snappy. So it just really depends on how bad the lawyer is. So if the jury is also hating the lawyer and a witness claps back, it can be a very light and funny moment. So it just depends. We'll see what happens. Matt Bond, good to see you. Hello, my spiffy legal mumbo jumbo talky friend. I I think that's my new... I think that's my new job. What do you do? I do legal mumbo jumbo talkie on the interwebs. I think that's what we're going with instead of legal analyst. Um, what does this cross? Why does this cross examiner come off as so aggressive? It seems a bit much like he used to be a police officer. You aren't going to have a gotcha moment. It was interesting. The style. Um, I don't find the style of re-asking those narrow questions the way you would do in a deposition, I don't find that as offensive, abrasive, or annoying as the kind of badgering. But yes, it's a very interesting style. Um, they're definitely going hard in cross-examination and they don't always need to. I think they forget that you can ask the questions you need and craft that into your closing. Um, but I wonder how much Amber Heard's team, and this is purely my speculation. I wonder how much Amber Heard's team is concerned or how much Amber Heard is concerned about the turning of the tide of public opinion and that they are, um, they are absolutely worried about the turn of the tide, but this is what happens when your side goes first. It's what happens when a complaint is filed. You guys saw it in the Toddy Westbrook case. In the Toddy Westbrook case, that first um, complaint is filed by Clark Swanson and the everybody starts covering that Toddy Westbrook like scammed her business partner and all these things is what they were saying because they'd only read the complaint. And then the answer comes out and you're like, wait, there's so much more, but that happens. It's the natural thing to happen. When your side comes in first, people are like, we didn't know that. And this is interesting because we've got not just um, Johnny Depp's side coming in first, but we've also got Amber Heard's side that has already been kind of out in public. So now we're getting the flip back. And that's that's really what part of this is, is that you're getting all of the stuff favorable to Johnny Depp first 
before Amber gets to res uh, respond. And I wonder if they're worried about that. And that's part of where these objections are coming from. Um, Matt Bond said, everything in Australia is horrific. You should see me. <laughs> I think Australia is probably really lovely. And this incident in Australia between Depp and Heard is really horrific. And if you guys want to see that uh, more about that, there are lots of videos breaking it down with the photographs, stuff that came out during the UK suit. It is a really horrific incident. Alyssa said is sometimes the best legal strategy to just spin in circles and not really do anything but confusing people. I don't love that at all. I think, I think there's a way to well craft things. I think sometimes confusion is used by attorneys. Yes. I don't think it's a best bet, but I think sometimes attorneys do that. I've also never worked as a defense attorney. So I've always borne the burden of proof. So for me, it's always been make it clear, make it simple, help people understand. It's also what I like to do. Try to distill everything down into a linear way to help people understand. But the defense has to bring in doubt. And sometimes the best way to bring in doubt is through confusion. I don't, I think there's clearer paths to doubt than confusion, but you know, and in this, they just have to sway a number of jurors that are like, I can't say this is defamatory. So um, Amber Heard's not going to be liable for defamation. Why would Johnny testify so early in trial? I don't know. I will want to know after this is all over. And maybe after this is done, we can try to get one of the attorneys from Depp's legal team to explain to us. But if he does testify next, and it seems like he should be the next witness based on what court TV is reporting. Court TV said that the sound engineer, um, Keenan Wyatt would be up and then Depp would be up probably before lunch with the way this is going. They said that that was the order of witnesses. I don't know why he would come in so early. I said this yesterday on, I think, Legal Bites' channel when I was there in the afternoon, that I would love to see the expert. They have a psychological expert in um, domestic violence and cycle of violence relationships. I would love to see that expert testify before Depp testifies to give perspective to what he's going to say. But this might be a scheduling thing where they have no other witnesses right now. I don't know. I don't know. Question, how can Amber Heard be impeached? Isn't she part of this and her testimony is important? Yes, it's important. That's not necessarily what impeachment means. Impeachment means um, trying to kind of poke holes at the veracity of the witness testimony. Oh, you said this, but isn't it this? It's trying to catch someone out on the story that they're telling. There is a lot that we have seen publicly to impeach Amber Heard on. Didn't you say you were making these donations? Okay, but didn't you actually not? Her testimony is important. She has to testify. She will be impeached by certain items depending on how she testifies. So yes, she can be impeached, but impeachment here means um, it means catching someone out in what they're saying. It means proving that something they said isn't truthful because it's trying to get to the veracity. It doesn't mean they stop testifying as a witness. It means that the jury is then like, oh, well, you said it was this and now we're seeing that it's this. So hopefully that makes sense. But yes, she has to testify. She is a cross claimant here. So she's a cross plaintiff and she's a defendant. She has to testify. Will the audio tapes be allowed? I think we will see them. I'm not sure who's going to lay the foundation for them. Johnny Depp might lay the foundation for them. He can. Is that your voice who recorded them? Or we can have them come in on the cross exam of Amber Heard or Amber Heard can bring them in. But yes, I think we will see a lot of the audio tapes coming in. Why is it important for witnesses to talk to the jury and not to the lawyer? Mia Mo, you want the jury to understand the, the story. The lawyer knows what the fuck's happening. They're asking the questions. So you want the witness to look towards the jury and explain to them what's going on and connect with them and look them in the face. It's much more interesting for me to talk directly to you and connect with you than for me to talk like this the entire time that I'm talking on screen and you're just looking at the side of my face. First of all, we don't, we don't need any of that. Second of all, it's not very interesting microphone. It's not very interesting for you to just look at the side of me and talk. It's much more interesting for us to have a conversation and jurors want to be included in the process. They are the most important person in that courtroom and good witnesses will remember that. And you'll see that more with expert witnesses. Individuals get kind of nervous and they look for cues with the person that's asking them questions, but they should be looking for cues with the jury. And it's very hard to remember that. It's like when Dr. B comes on the channel and he's looking directly at me instead of looking at the camera. So we're having like a three-way conversation. He looks directly at me. He, you're used to looking at the person who's talking to you. So that's why. They're still on break. Can you keep the questions on screen a bit longer? I will try to, when I'm, especially when I'm giving yep and nope answers. 
And that's a little different. Normally I read out the whole question, but when we're covering live testimony and I'm talking over it, I will give yep or nope. So Pam Norris, great question about why it was relevant that this witness was talking about um, his experience with Johnny, people liking to work with Johnny. Amber Heard is, is said, and they're going to try to prove later that the reason Johnny lost movie roles is because he was unreliable because he wasn't coming to set. He didn't lose roles in Pirates particularly because he lost that Pirates role days after this op-ed came out. He didn't lose it because of this op-ed. He lost the role in Pirates because he was difficult to work with on set or unreliable on set. And that's not the case here. So we are seeing it to combat that later argument with this witness saying, no, Johnny Depp was a delight to work with. He was only late to set when he was fighting with Amber, which is kind of what he said. He Production was shut down when he hurt his finger, but he was very engaged in the process. He was great to work with. Um, and I wonder if the bit about the earpiece was a, to preempt an argument from Amber Heard's side that he was being fed lines because he would show up to set unable to perform. And this witness already explained to us that he would be fed lines because he was rewriting the script for his character the morning of and listening to music. So it's going to already preempt the argument that he would show up to work in a state unfit to work and just had to be fed lines and they were just propping him up. And that's in fact why he was fired, not because of this op-ed. Hopefully that makes sense, which is why I wanted to get to that question. Thank you, Pam. Nina, thank you for the super sticker. Um, we chic. Yes, we are. We chic, le freak, freak out. Sorry. Okay. Loving watching this with commentary. Thank you for doing this live with us. Thank you for being with me. I want to talk it through. I would be sitting on my couch watching this all. Thank A huge thank you goes to the mods for knowing that we ride today. Like today is a day where we are riding. You see me rolling. They hate and we are riding until the end of depth testimony today. And we will see how long that will be because that could go into tomorrow. <laughs> I have to look and see if I have any meetings tomorrow and move them. Uh, thank you for providing context as to why they're asking questions. I am providing my perspective as to what I think is going on. Again, they could have different motivations, but I did a lot of trials. And I think that's one of the things unique um, about me in the space is a lot of the attorneys that do commentary were not trial or had not really been trial attorneys. I've done a lot of trials. So though I didn't do civil trials, no, just criminal. A trial is a trial. A jury is a jury. Emily, there's someone on TikTok talking about the ramifications of this case on free speech. I'm not entirely seeing that connection. Any thoughts? Mary, I am on TikTok. You are always welcome to at me under something that you see and ask me the question and I will either um, stitch it or duet it. I don't know what the fuck it's called on TikTok. I'll try to do something with it <laughs> so I can respond to it. But the argument is that this defamation by implication, I think, this is speculation without seeing it. The defamation by implication starts to narrow down what you can say. This case really has more to do with these two people than overarching um, themes of free speech because you can't just say whatever. Defamation is not protected by the First Amendment. The jury, though, could say she didn't name him. It was a vague statement, and it's not defamatory. We will see. Um but do I think that this is going to be like a seminal case on the rights of someone to talk? No, this is more of a divorce that's playing out in a really crazy fucking way all over the world. That's how I see it. Aurelia, I am so happy you're commenting today. Thank you. Your real time objections to the objections are priceless. It's okay. You're the YouTube mom, but you're on the you but you're the YouTube sis for me. Aurelia, thank you. You are definitely a YouTube sis for me. I appreciate that. I some of these objections annoy me. Again, you saw this in my coverage on other channels during the Rittenhouse case. There's times I'm like, why aren't you objecting to that? Every lawyer has their own strategy. Their strategy and mine is going to be different. There are times when I think things are stupid. I'm going to tell you I think they're stupid. Uh, Matt Bond, I will absolutely go look for it. How is a witness impeached? Um, by proving that they have said something false. So you saw it come out with the... Uh, with the former law enforcement officer, the um, the security guard. Oh, it looks like, oh, we're coming back here. I'm going to share the screen. With the security guard, there's Depp, ponytail today, good news. Um, and then they are at sidebar. And we are a few minutes away from them starting. So I'm going to mute this 
but we're going to keep an eye on what's going on here. So when you saw the transcript comes out, it's like today you said this, but previously you said that that's impeachment of the witness. I'm very curious as to what they're huddling about. They're probably talking about scheduling unless there is a jury issue or a jury question because she keeps looking towards the jury box and the attorneys all look very agreeable. So this is Mr. Chu. This is Ms. Bredhoft. So that's where we're at. Um, did you notice Amber Heard has her hair in a ponytail today? She keeps going on Johnny's dress, it seems. It does seem... And yesterday she had her face very much covered so you couldn't see her. Um, and today. Okay. Yes. Okay. And today we are seeing her hair pulled back. I only saw it when she came into the courtroom. I haven't seen it in the courtroom. So we're going to be getting into cross-examination. I have one more that we're going to do while the witness walks back up. Do you have an opinion of who is going to win or who is winning so far? I don't yet in the court of law. Johnny Depp is definitely gaining some ground in the court of public opinion, but this is, this is not an easy case for Depp to win. It is very likely the jury gets to the end of the day and is like, all of you, this is a private matter. I don't know why this is in court. You said what you said. You said what you said. No one wins. No one loses. We're done. So we will see. Um, Yanu Zeal or Janice Zeal said, not a Depp fan, but was following this out of curiosity and stumbled onto your channel. Well, welcome. I think I'm going to stick with you for the rest of the trial and perhaps future trials. Well, you are welcome to stick with me. I'm here. Uh, if I am not doing live commentary on a day, I will share where commentary is. And I, you know, again, I have my, I have my thoughts. Breda Hoff is too hard for me to say. We're going with Bre <laughs> I will try. Bret Hoff. The judge is just so random, but I really like the judge's haircut. I've liked this judge. I think this judge could be a little stronger on some of the rulings on objections, but right. she seems consistent. Right, She's got her Apple watch on. Thank you, Your Honor. I like her. Oh, now, Mr. And here White, we go. you testified that you've been a sound technician for pretty much most of Can your career. Can we shift career, the camera right? off the judge? Okay. There we go. And let's go to that Marlon Brando. That He used an earpiece for his lines to be fed to him, correct, at that yes. time? And when was that? When was the Brave filmed? Uh, Google it. Mid nineties. <laughs> okay. And so ever since then, Mr. Depp has thought it was a good idea and has used an earpiece, correct? He has used an earpiece. Yes. Okay. And you're the person who controls what goes into his earpiece. Is yes. that correct? Okay. So it could be music. It can be lines. It can yes. be anything, right? Yes. Okay. And that, there you was no question have that. been his sound tech. He needs to wait till she finishes since the 1990s all the way up through at least two, six, 2016, correct? There's been a couple of us, yes. I switched feeds. Okay, but, but you I actually, actually like having the subtitles have been on. been on almost all his movies, haven't been you? Been on most of them, probably, Okay, yes. and in fact, not only are you his personal sound technician, but you are named in his contracts as his sound technician, correct? I don't know that. Okay, well, let's <laughs> pull up. Ooh, let's pull up the contracts. I want to know. Exhibit number... It's the Let's feed six three three for the stream because I switched to Sky News, but I'm actually happy to have it on because if I talk over something, y'all can see it. Yeah, this is Attorney Amica Cream speaking. Marked as she's got a new name. Exhibit six three three, and it's the contract mm -hmm. for Pirates oh, of the this. Caribbean from August twenty twenty two. Do you see that? Oh, the one he got Section fired from. Yeah, I'm it does sorry? lack foundation. Lack of foundation. I didn't get. I didn't get uh, his answer. I'll, 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 I'll go ahead. No, he doesn't know it's the. How does he know what it's a contract it for? August uh, two thousand two. Okay. Let's turn to page sixteen. She said twenty twenty two. He said it's two thousand and two. How does he have any foundation for this contract, okay, and whether it's authentic or that. not? It's two before that, I think. There we go. Do you see where it says location assistant? Yes, Katya. She's trying okay. to get to bias. And if you go down. It has your name specifically on there. Does it not say Keenan Wyatt? Yes. It's trying to get okay. the bias. And on Along. this particular one, it has Sam oh, Sarker he was trying and to Keenan Wyatt. Do you see that? Yes. But eventually it just became Keenan Wyatt in all the contracts, right? He doesn't know. I do not know. I don't know. Okay. How and then you know? as part of this, in each of Mr. Depp's contracts, he had what you were going to get paid, correct? I don't know what's in his contract. Okay. Well, on this one, it was... Fourteen twenty-eight per hour, correct? Like, like a foundation, Your Honor. 
Yes, this is the attorney well, who rambled. Well, he doesn't know this contract. If you want to, uh, yes, for the okay, subtitles. Okay. Well, I'm happy they're here too. You on every She's one like, of uh, his uh, contracts uh, had an hourly rate and a guarantee of at least sixty hours the fuck a week, right? Calls for speculation. Would he know? Surely he has to know how he was getting paid. On if these. you want to ask that question, do, do you know how you were getting paid on each of these films? Yes. Okay. How were you getting paid? Through a payroll company from the production companies. Okay. And Ing. these were all negotiated by Mr. Depp, correct? I don't know. No, I'm, or his I'm companies. paid by the, uh, the union sets the rate for me. Right. Yes, but is. you're aware that Mr. Depp has negotiated it and put you into his contract. Lack so of not. foundation calls for speculation. I can, I, I, I'll, I'll allow it, that. Don't it, allow that. Me. Sorry. You want you're aware. Question, We're all sorry. You're aware that Mr. Depp has put you into each of his contracts, including how much you get paid and well, all of your perks, right? So I see angry. it here, but... Um, when I'm hired by a production company, I get paid by the production company so at my aware rate that. for the job that I'm doing. That's not the rate I make when I'm working on a production. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, let's uh, let's stay on this one just for a minute, and then we'll take a look at a couple more because you ended up with a lot higher rate pretty soon. Um, but you also okay. had and? your airfare paid for, correct, for travel? Yes. You also were put up in the same hotel as Mr. Depp, if he was in a hotel, correct? Uh, not necessarily all the time. Right. And if he was in a house, then you got a comparable hotel close by, right? I got a place to stay wherever we were. I filming, don't know what you yes. mean by comparable. And it was comparable. Comparable to what? So it, was, it, no. it was a It was a positive. <laughs> it was a, a nice hotel, wasn't it? Um, yeah. That's I mean, nice. productions, we usually stayed at nice hotels. Okay. So is it is it your testimony that you yep. didn't know that you were named specifically and the terms of your compensation and your benefits were in every single one of Mr. Depp's contracts? Objection asked didn't. and answered several times, Your Honor. It has not. And I, I'll, I'll allow this. To I did not know it was in okay. the contract. Next question. There you go. Okay. I'm going to let's go take a look real quick. I'm going to flip over to. Depp's attorney is going to try to shut this down because he has no knowledge of these contracts. He just said he has no knowledge of these contracts. So it doesn't matter if he can see what's printed on a page because he doesn't have any knowledge of this. But it doesn't really this hurt is anybody. this a contract, December 4, 2008. It's just trying to go to bias. With Paramount Pictures. The condescension is For Rango, do you recall awful. that? Yes. And you were his sound technician there, correct? Yes. And if we turn to page 12, which is the second one. This is not the way I like there, to do your cross. Your name is right there. You're designated as sound technician, correct? Do you see that? Yes. All right. And then let's Don't flip be to mad the unless page. you need to be mad. There's no reason to be mad. Why and are you so mad, woman? 3500 per week, correct? <sighs> Lack of foundation. Do you remember getting $3,500 a week? I get whatever the weekly rate is for the union yep. position that I'm doing. I don't know. At this time, I don't recall what the rate was. It's like, I don't know how I much I got paid what I got in 2002. Um, but I got what the union set as my minimum rate. Yep. Okay. And again, you didn't know that Mr. Depp negotiated this into his Asked and answered. Okay. And then if we go down a little bit further here, it has you uh, round trip, class transportation, coach class transportation. You guys, you they transported yes. him to and set. It has hotel accommodation. Holy and shit. On the same basis as, as the and crew paid for the food. in this one, correct? Yes, but we were in Rango was wow. in uh, Los Angeles, so none of that would have taken right, place. Right, so, so yeah. it was a lot easier. Then let's jump to plaintiff's exhibit. Why are you just making random statements like it was a lot easier? Shh, don't testify, and woman. this is Pirates of the Caribbean, July 2014. This would be for five, right? Connor, lack of foundation. These are contracts to which right. Mr. Wyatt was not a party. Correct. She's so you, you angry with this witness. It's not offered to prove the truth of the contract. Then what's it offered to prove? Because what is it offered for? <laughs> what's, all right. Well, let me ask it this way. Um, so what's it offered for? Pirates for Pirates 5, were, were you, you were in, what was your hotel accommodations? I was staying in a condominium that the rest of the crew was staying in. Okay. And how much were you getting paid on Pirates 5? Whatever the union minimum was for my job. Do you have... Any idea what it was? No, I don't recall. Okay. I'd have to and, look it up. And were you aware that your compensation and benefits were in Mr. Depp's Pirates contract? No, I did not. All right. Now, 
Let's we can hear someone whispering at council table, which is interesting. In particular, I think you testified which that Mr. Depp was was he occasionally late, late a lot to the set. I don't recall. I mean, he was late. Yes. She objected to all of this. Up at all, weren't there? Uh, could have been. I don't recall. And there were days that he didn't show up for six, seven hours. Correct. Yes. She objected okay. to all and of this fact, and is now getting uh, back into it. He wasn't showing up before Amber okay. ever got to Australia. Isn't that correct? I don't. I don't know that. Do you recall him going on a binge with Marilyn Manson for a few days? Objection, no, lack of foundation. Do Do you? Uh, that was my fault. That? I switched screens. I'm sorry. sorry. Do you recall? No. I don't recall. You don't recall one way or the other, or you just... No, I, d I didn't visit Johnny when we were in Australia. So I don't know. Okay, so you He had know. a house. I had a condominium in town. So, so you don't know what was causing Johnny to be late or whether he was taking a lot of alcohol and drugs. Is no. that fair to say? Yes. Okay. And you said that you observed Johnny Depp talking with Sean Bailey after he came back, and, and let's go to that. You said there was a two to three week delay. In fact, it was closer to five to six weeks, wasn't it? I don't recall what it was. But it's pretty I, significant I when the entire crew has to stop. For objection, that counsel's objection testifying. To testimony. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll sustain the objection. Ask the question. We're playing it's along at home. significant, isn't it, when there's a delay? It's significant. I don't think the film completely shut down for all of that. They continued to shoot what they could. How many of the crew members were impacted by Johnny not being able to be there after he cut off his, after the finger was cut off? Um, well, there was the crew, some of the crew I'm sure still kept working and shoot filming, filming other scenes without Johnny's character in it. Do you know how many were impacted? No, I don't. Do you know how much Disney was impacted? No, I don't. Okay. So now you say when he came back, he had he collaborated with Sean Bailey, right? Yes. And they were talking about how they were going to get together on something, right? Yes. Did Johnny do anything with Sean yep. Bailey for the rest of 2015? I don't know about that. Liza, year, the tip of his finger um, was cut that, off. Uh, they, you know, they talked There's about a collaborating lot of and doing conversation something. About Sean how. and Johnny had worked out. Johnny working Mr. at- Mr. White, uh, if, you, if you can just answer my your question. Honor, He's trying to! Face. She asked the question. I asked, he should be did able. he collaborate? Let the witness finish. Your Honor, may he be allowed to yes, please let finish him, Let him finish answer. the question. The answer, sorry. Go ahead. Let him finish! Johnny and uh, Sean put together Johnny dressing up as Captain Jack Why and so addressing the crowd at the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Your Honor, I'm going to move to strike and ask you to ask that to be stricken. That is not responsive to me. It is question. absolutely Honor, responsible. The question. She, she, That's not the question she asked him. You want to ask your question again? Please. Yes. Did Mr. Bailey collaborate on any projects with Mr. Depp in 2015 after Pirates 5? Yes. The one I just said, that, uh, the project of, it, that was a promotional project for was it Pirates a film? of the Caribbean. Was it, it it's filmed? a project. Yes. Yeah, I think it was videotaped or filmed, yes. W was it a feature film that Disney no, it wasn't made a feature money film. on? No. All right. She Let's said project. Did Sean Bailey collaborate on I, any I film know. project with Mr. Depp? I don't know. Let Let's go to 2017. I don't Did know. Mr. Bailey collaborate with Mr. <laughs> Depp annoyed. on any film project? I, I don't know the, the timing of the other things. No, I don't know if he did or not. Let's go to 2018. Did Mr. So Bailey much? collaborate at all with Mr. Depp in 2018? Ask Mr. Bailey. Were you aware that Mr. Bailey said that he, that Mr. Depp was, quote, out, end of quote, for Pirate 6? Why is this not hearsay? In October of 2018? Why is this not hearsay? hearsay? All right. I'll sustain as to hearsay. Thanks. Okay. Let's Thank pull you. up Plaintiff's Exhibit 115. Is it plaintiff's 115? Sean, plaintiff's this 115. is exactly why everyone hates lawyers. However, for the jury, it's absolutely going to wake them up. In cross-examination, you try to start oh, nice. I'm sorry. There's defendants. no reason to be mean to this guy. He hasn't said anything that's particularly damaging to Amber. He hasn't gone off the rails. He seems very likable to the jury. And the jury is not going to like that she is berating him. Now, this is an article. How is this article in, uh, have foundation? October of 2018. And? Do you recall seeing this article? No. You never saw it? I don't, I don't read the, okay. I don't read these All stories. Right, so I don't read this so shit. So would it be fair to say that you don't know whether Mr. <laughs> Bailey uh, had determined that Mr. Depp would not be in Pirate 6 as of October of 2018? Yeah, I, I Those are two totally I different questions. I don't know, questions. especially based on this. I don't, I don't believe this stuff anyway. Okay. We can take that down. Thank you. 
I don't believe this stuff anyway. All right. Let's talk about. The jury is not going to like this attorney. Visits with Vanessa and the kids and Mr. Depp. You indicated you went on some vacations with them, correct? Yes. They were together for 14 years, right? Yes. How many vacations did you uh, go on? Several. I don't, I don't know all of them. Two, three? Several. Probably more than that. Four? Probably more than that. I, I, I don't know. Half a dozen? Dozen? Okay. We get to six? Okay. Yeah. Six to 12? All yeah. right. And these are all vacations, right? After filming, yes. Okay. So these are times where everybody's having fun, relaxing. It's not your regular yes. you know, day-to-day -day grind that everybody goes through, right? Yes. Okay. Now, this feels like a grind. You have no personal knowledge of whether Mr. Depp ever physically abused Vanessa Paradis, correct? None, none that I ever saw. Right. But you have no, no knowledge one way. You don't know, do you? None that I saw. Right. Correct. You right. don't know, you what, don't know happened what happened when you weren't there is what she wants to ask. No. relationship when you weren't there, correct? No, when I was there, no. Okay. And they split up, right? Yes. Do you know why they split up? No, I do not. All right. You don't know if Mr. Depp yelled or raised his voice at Vanessa Paradis on a daily basis when you weren't around, do you? Not when I wasn't around. Was around right. And then you were asked at the very end by Mr. Chu whether you had Ooh. ever heard Did of you hear the way she said Chu? Mr. With Depp disdain. of violence. And you said you'd never heard of anyone accusing Mr. Depp of violence. Do you recall Correct. that? Have you ever heard of Greg Brooks? Doesn't, I don't know. He's no. a manager on a set from City of Lies. No. Who's okay. filed a lawsuit against Mr. Depp for punching. Honor, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. And That's whoa. To Ms. Greta Hoff's. Uh, Whoa, Miss Bredhoff! Yeah, I'll, I'll allow it. He's good. <laughs> I, I don't. I She's mean, I testifying. Don't know what happened? Uh, I've hey, never seen. I've that? never seen him be violent to anybody. But but you testified you'd never heard of that. So had you ever heard of Greg Brooks accusing Mr. Depp of punching him on the set of City of Lies? Yeah, I mean, I've heard it. I don't know. Any hmm. basis of it, though. So it's not true that you've never heard of anyone accusing Mr. And Depp. This of is violence, the impeachment. I suppose not. Okay, and you don't and there's know the impeachment. whether Mr. Depp committed any domestic abuse or violence on any Which of the women in his relationship. Is a win student. for her. I never witnessed it. Right. You don't have personal knowledge, though, do you? Uh, only what I've witnessed, and I've never witnessed it. Right. You don't know I what went wonder, on behind closed doors with I do any not. of them. If the import okay. of that is going to get um, lost in her abrasiveness, though. Because that is a, a win for her. Plain. This was in May of 2014. This is just her style. So you were in the car with Mr. Depp before he got on the plane. Yes. How long was he in that car? How long were we in the car? Yes. I don't recall. Uh, 45 minutes, an hour, maybe? I don't recall. You, you sat on the tarmac for quite some time before getting on the plane, didn't you? You asked how long recall. he was in the car. You don't recall that? No. Okay. And is it your testimony? How, that is, how long Depp is he in the car the same as the tarmac? Anything while he was in the car? Not in the car, no. Do, had Mr. Depp been drinking anything before he got into the I car? I don't know. I wasn't with him before. Is it your testimony that Mr. Depp didn't take any drugs while he was in the car? N not that I recall. Do you know whether okay. he took any drugs before he got in the car? I wasn't with him before he got in the car. All right. W he and said that I twice. think you testified in response to the question Maybe that more. you didn't think that he was intoxicated or high? No, he said he didn't no, seem intoxicated. He seemed like Johnny. Yeah. Did he take any Red Bulls that you saw? Took any what? Red Bulls. Did he have Bulls, wings? Uh, I don't know. There was a, there was occasion where he would drink Red Bulls. I don't know if that was the same time or not. All right. Was Did he drinking Red Bull with give him Bulls? rings? I don't. I don't know. Bings. Was he drinking whiskey? I don't know. Yum. Was he taking cocaine? I don't. I've never seen it. No. Did you see any powders? No. Okay. So you get on the airplane and it's she didn't your ask about the wings. Uh, that Ms. Heard. Had a, a bad Coco, tone this is voice exactly right. Mr. Depp, is that correct? we don't like her style, but uh, she, she is doing her job. Me. Okay. Um, in fact, wasn't Mr. Depp saying pretty horrible things to Ms. Heard? I don't recall that. Like, get fucked on set, get fucked with fucking James fucking Franco. She Did likes saying that? fuck. I don't recall. I, Did I you love hear him for say this. at least you fucking liked it? No. Did I love you hear for him this. say, I bet you slipped a tongue in there and you liked it? No. Did a you tongue hear in him where? say 
make references to Amber's pussy and asking her if her pussy was wet? Your no. Honor, lack of foundation, <laughs> <laughs> harassment. We'll get, did you hear any of that? But no, not that I read. Okay. I'll rule the objection. Thank you. Question. Now, you shared that just happened. tank with Mr. Depp on that Boston plane. Y'all, did you remember no. to do the YouTube thing? You don't recall like Mr. Depp things? insisting that the, the, the flight attendant give him an oxygen tank and the two of you used it? No. Were okay. you taking hits do of you oxygen? you recall Mr. Depp drinking champagne on the plane? I don't know what he was drinking. I'm sure I was having wine. He could have been having champagne. Do you remember him drinking a couple bottles of champagne? Uh, I don't know how much. And it's your testimony that Mr. Depp didn't kick Amber? I, I didn't see anything like that. Okay. Did you see Mr. Depp uh, go to the back of the plane and pass out and moan loudly? I don't recall. Uh, that. You don't recall that either? No. Sorry. Okay. Um, can I can't. Can you pull up Defendant's Exhibit 245, please? He passed out and moaned <laughs> loudly? I... And your honor, I, I show no objection to it in the, the filings. So I'm going to move the admission of it and I'm going to ask it to be published. Let's publish. I want to no. see. Any objection to 245? Uh, yes, your honor. It's improper impeachment. It's not to him. Perfect. All right. If That's you the objection. We'll see what your Let's objections. approach. Do you have your list of objections from your exhibits? Oh, they cut the audio. I'm going to try to see if I can find a feed that's showing a little bit more of the audience as well but i'm not seeing the live feed like on court tv there isn't a live feed um amy i know you were watching a live feed where you could see them panning to the audience if you want to just let me know where you're watching it as long as it's not as long as it's not uh long gray court tv can you oh i i don't see it on court tv's youtube channel i only let me see if we've got i don't see it on their home is this their, this is not live. I'm not seeing any of their live on their YouTube channel. So I was trying to find it and I'm not seeing it. She absolutely wanted to use the cursey words. So, um, yeah, she is just, she has a very abrasive style, but she did get some, oh, on their website. All right, let me take a look. She did get some, um, some changes in there when she's like, no, it's not true that you, um, it's not true that you have never heard of him being alleged to be abusive because apparently somebody sued him at some point and he knew about that suit. So somebody made that accusation. That's really the only thing that she has achieved here, but, Oh, she's pointing at the clock. <laughs> it is 1145 with this shit. What are you doing? <laughs> that was my interpretation. So I will look for, um, Court TV's Mr. Website White, theme. are you aware that Thanks, chat. Mr. Duders uh, uh, apologized to Amber that for would be Mr. Gina Duders husband conduct afterwards? Lack, lack After of foundation, hearsay, Ronner. I'll, I'll it is, stay in the it is hearsay. Next question. All right, I'll look for that too. Where did you go? Were you with Mr. Depp? Excuse after me, Your Honor. May, the plane? I apologize. Uh, May we take this down? It's just under the witness, but yes. Sure. Thank you, Ron. It shouldn't be published. Okay, good. Did, were you? Did you leave the plane with Mr. Depp? Uh, I mean, I got off the plane at the same time. I'm assuming I I went to my own home. Okay, and and what was Mr. Depp's state? I don't recall. You don't recall if he was passed out or not? No. It, 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 when you say you don't recall, when you say you don't recall, do you mean you don't recall? Under oath, you honestly can't remember if Mr. Depp was passed out. When I mean, you was, left the plane. Asked was, and answered, Your Honor. All right. I'll allow it this one time. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. You can answer, sir. There was lots of plane flights. I mean, the only reason I remember this one was because Amber yelled at me on that flight. That's a very fair statement. Do you remember my question? No. I, I didn't. I don't recall. All right, I mean, so, I could have gotten off the plane and just left. I don't know. And Mr. Depp could have kicked Amber on that plane, right? <sighs> Your Honor, asked and answered. Yep. Not that I saw. Okay, and he could have passed out. No, not that I recall. Okay. Are we done? Are we done? She's flipping through her notes. How many times were you with Amber and Mr. Depp together? 
I have no idea. No idea. Well, what would the circumstances have been? Uh, in vacation over for something or other on or, set. You know, uh, Everything Johnny he already said. Recording some music or something, and she was there. Uh, I don't know at work. I don't. <laughs> Now, you had a very close personal relationship with Christy Dombrowski, didn't you? Who? We're friends, yes. Yes, and you were more than friends for quite a few years. Your you Honor, who? relevance, may we approach? It's impeachment. Right. Or let's it's well, bias. Or bias. Approach, please. Who the fuck is Christy? Wait, who's Christy? <laughs> They're trying to impeach him with a relationship, apparently. Um, I am looking at Court TV's feed, and right now they are on commercials, so I'll switch back and forth. Uh, Johnny Depp's sister? Is Christy Johnny Depp's sister? Uh, there, well, okay, Johnny's sister. So, wait, did he have a relationship with Johnny's sister? I guess we'll find out. Let's watch together. Now, you testified <laughs> that... Uh, the wedding that you went to, the one in oh, Los Angeles. Oh, she moved Angeles, on. She lost. Seemed to be a little rushed. Yes. How long were they engaged? I don't know. She lost you, that. Yeah, she okay, lost that. A pretty substantial period of time? I, I don't know. Okay. So when you say rushed. What do you mean by rushed? We didn't know a wedding was going to happen. Well, and you said you were at the offices of Ad Infinitum. Is that right? Okay, when you say we didn't know any wedding was going to happen, who's we? Uh, several of the people at the wedding. Our friends. Know. Okay, okay. Now, did the you know like, what Amber's you. film schedule was? No. Did you know whether she was out of town, coming back in, and leaving again? I did not know. Did you know what John? Oh, did you know film why it was rushed? Was? Uh, I probably knew we were off. Because you were his sound technician, right? Yeah, we were okay. starting a film and or when, ending a film or whatever, yes. Thanks, okay. Coco. And when like did line. you leave for Pirates dream, 5? Like the stream. I don't recall when. What did was he filming right before Pirates 5? I don't recall. Okay. So as soon after they did the Los Angeles wedding, they went to the Bahamas, correct? I don't remember the time <laughs> difference. But you didn't go to that wedding? No. Do you know how many people did? No. Do how you would know he know how much organization was involved? This all calls in for speculation and hearsay. No, I don't know. Do you know? They're not objecting because uh, it's irrelevant. Uh, do you know? Well, I'm what do you know? know? So I guess I shouldn't <laughs> ask you that. Yeah, you shouldn't. So as a practical Good. matter, you don't know about any of the communications between Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd. You don't know what you don't know. Correct. To take place. Correct. 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 Okay. I don't I have no further questions. What I don't. Oh, okay. thank God. I don't Your know what I don't know. Few. Sure. Correct. Redirect. This is redirect where Johnny Depp's team gets to try to rehabilitate the witness after whatever perceived impeachment there was. And I'm going to look at switching streams real quick. Mr. Wyatt, you testified earlier that no. you Do you know how Mr. much Depp. organization was involved in getting that wedding together in the Bahamas? Yeah, let's if we can no, catch back up. They're a few minutes behind. All right, that's okay. But they're no. showing Johnny. Do you so know we like uh, that. whether... Oh! Uh, we binged. Do you know... Well, I okay, Since I we're a bit behind know, so on I this stream. I ask you then. So as a practical... We're going to bing real quick. Because we binged. You guys, we binged. We binged. We're... 204 let's we're gonna bang and then we're gonna get back to this so thank you everybody for suggesting the court tv feed from their website oh it binged move your head ah! sorry for how loud that was all right let's get back to this feed and thank you for everyone who suggested it when they take a break we'll go back to the other feed mr wyatt you testified earlier that you work with Mr. Depp as his sound technician we on like more than TV. 10 feature films. Is that correct? We like them better than we like long crime. Worked Just saying. On feature films as a sound technician or in any other capacity on films without Mr. Depp. Yes, I have. On those instances and in those films not involving Mr. Depp, were your travel costs covered? Yes, they are. Were your hotel Outrageous. costs covered? Yes, they are. Outrageous. Was your airfare covered? Yes. Were those arrangements handled in any way different from the films on which you worked with Mr. Depp? 
No. Right. What was like your understanding of why Mr. Depp was late on the set to Pirates 5? Oh, you opened the door for this one. Use you, your microphone. You opened the Objection, fucking door. Honor, he's already testified he doesn't know and he wasn't there with him and he, he doesn't know. Directly related, related yeah. to the cross. I'll allow it. Yep. Go ahead. yep. She opened so that door with a wrecking ball. What, what was your understanding of why Mr. Depp was late occasionally on the set of Pirates 5? Um, my understanding was he was having arguments with uh, Amber. Yep. And the wedding she that, that you attended or the ceremony in Los Angeles, that was right before... Mr. Depp was to start filming Pirates 5, correct? Yes. Is that one of the reasons Amber wanted to be married right then? Oh, he doesn't know. That calls for speculation. All right. Foundation also stands No, that calls for speculation, but okay. Mr. Wyatt. Yeah, that wasn't a great question. You've known Mr. Depp for a long time, correct? I yes. like the tie and you on work, Depp's You've worked today. with him for a long time. Yes. How Has this any better? woman other than Ms. Heard ever accused him of raising a hand to her. Objection, Your Honor. He's already asked that beforehand, and I went into the class. Uh -uh. Asked and answered. Sustain the class. Uh -uh. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, right. uh, thank you, you get to do Mr. that in redirect. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Nothing further. All right. You get to do that in redirect. Um, is this witness subject to recall? Yes. All right, sir, since you're subject to recall, you cannot discuss your testimony yep, you with anybody and do not watch anything uh, in the news media at this time, and you may be recalled at a later date, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. You have a good day. You're excused for today. Thank you. All right. Who are they calling right. next? Is it Johnny Depp? Is it Johnny Depp? Is it Johnny Depp? Um, ladies and gentlemen, we have a few housekeeping matters to take care oh, of. And um, also, I know the cafeteria was a little rough yesterday, so I'm going to go ahead and give you an extended lunch today uh, until 2 o'clock. <gasps> so just do not discuss the case with anybody and don't do any outside research. And we'll see you back here at 2 p.m., okay? If you just go with Deputy Lisa. All right. Email, email that I can mention. So lunch till two, I will set up a new stream. We will be back after two. Uh, let's see if we get, I hope they don't cut away. Let's see if we get what's going on with the housekeeping matters after the jury's out of the room. But that is a Johnny long Depp lunch. should be next on the stand on the other side of I don't this lunch break in TV. Fairfax County, Virginia. All right, let's see. Let's see. We're going to go back live here on Sky News. Of why Mr. Depp? Uh, was, no. Why Mr. Depp? was late on no. the set to Pirates 5. I want to see what's happening. Oh, there we go. Hold on. We're going to switch streams again. Sorry to keep switching the streams. Quiet. After this lunch break, still well, with I me to hear talk what about all of this. Criminal defense attorney, Jesse Lal in Atlanta. No, I want to hear what they're saying. All right, we'll go back to this Understanding of why Mr. Depp was late. All right, let's see if we can catch back up. All right, good. I want to hear what the attorneys are saying. He's subject to recall. And let's see, they're approaching about whatever's going on. I'm going to leave this on until um, we see, because it looks like Court TV is talking over this part. And I want to talk over this part. I want to see if they put any rulings on the record. Notice the court reporter here is still typing because she can hear what's going on at the bench. I'm annoyed that we can't. So what time zone for 2 p.m.? That's going to be 2 p.m. Eastern time. So 1 p.m. Central. So it's almost 11 o'clock here. So two hours from now. I will um, set up a new stream. I'm going to answer questions before we do that, but I'll set up a new stream for that and we'll just switch. We'll switch over after lunch. We'll take a little bit of a break, give the mods a break, uh, give me a break so I can go to the bathroom and then we will come back. But we've got, you know, over 5,000 of us here on stream. So I'm always a little nervous to cut a stream and start a new one, but we'll see. Um, we'll do some, we'll do some housekeeping of our own. Look, they all look like they're having a great time. I want to know what they're talking about because look, you see the face, something is happening. I just don't know what is happening. So we will, we will watch this until we are back. So I will set up a new stream before I leave this one. So you guys can go ahead and like it and know where I'll be after lunch. Depp should be the next witness after lunch. And I am very, very uh, interested to see. So let's see if they put anything on the record. The judge, oh, the judge is off the bench. So they're not going to put anything on the record. They are done for lunch. So two hour break for lunch. And that's about it. All right. Two hour break for lunch is what's happening. And 
we're out. So I'm going to do questions real quick. I'm going to set up that stream um, real quick and we will do all the things. So let me do that. And then I'll do questions. We're just going to do some housekeeping here together. We're just going to do it together. We're going to do it together. Um, will it be recorded for later? So us Aussies, I'm going to leave all the streams up unless somebody tries to take them down. I am going to leave them up. So yes, two hours from now, I'll put up the stream now so it can uh, go from this stream to that stream so that we'll start, we'll start about 15 minutes before, um, before that stream, just so we can touch base. And I addressed the yeeting of Barlow in tomorrow's podcast episode, but I will, I'll talk about this in a minute. Let me set up the stream and then we will absolutely, um, I'm going to answer all of the super chats and questions. I'm going to set up that new broadcast right now. So we have it. Uh, let's see. Step V heard. We're going to just do it all together and then answer super chats and questions. <laughs> Depp testifies. That's what we're getting. That's what we're getting after lunch. So I'm going to get to a few super chats as well and questions. Let me just do this. And because why? Because I want everybody to be able to take a break and go get, <laughs> go get food, go to the bathroom, do the things. So let's see today at, we'll come back at 1245. And let me just go populate that. I can put a, I can put a thumbnail on it later. Um, all right, we're going to custom. So that will be up and then I should be able, um, tech in the back end. Will you connect the upcoming stream to this one? So when this one ends, it'll go into there and then we should have, um, a stream populated for everyone to know where to go during the lunch break because it is going to be a long lunch break. I'm going to answer some questions and then I will take a break too. And then we will be back at 1245 central time. So an hour and 45 minutes from now, I'm going to get some work done for sure. Um, let's go to all of our questions. Let's get that Q and a baby. Let's do it. For Amber Heard's argument, would this be a quote, when you can't argue the facts, argue the Constitution situation? She is trying to argue the facts, and she is going to keep trying to argue the facts. She is very much trying to um, get in those questions that are going to give her the facts and trying to undo the damage of each witness. So it's like, oh, well, this witness you know, said Johnny was a great guy, but then he didn't know about this lawsuit or he discounted it because he was biased. He didn't see what was happening on a plane. That's ridiculous. Do you believe him? He was there the whole time. And he says, oh, I remember that flight because Amber yelled at me. Well, wouldn't you remember, um, wouldn't you remember, you know, if somebody got kicked on the plane or whatever? So it gives them room to argue that he has, excuse me, that he has maybe a selective memory going on with that. So that's, that's what that is. I need the t I need to time my coffee maker for your streams. Sleepy time law drama. Hope we get Depp back on screen. Yes, I switch streams. The hard thing I have with Court TV is they do take commercial breaks in their streams, so we don't always get the full stream through. So I think we will we will poly stream it and use a little bit of both. So we have a little bit of both, but I absolutely want those pans to the audience, which we weren't getting from some of the other streams today. So we're absolutely going to make sure we get a little bit of both. And normally this is when we start coffee and cursey words. We normally start at 11 o'clock, but we would be starting right in the middle of lunch. So during the pendency of this trial, coffee and cursey words is going to be a little bit earlier. And my streaming schedule is going to be a little wonkier because of this trial. So if you want to stay in the loop with that, there's a couple ways to do it. First of all, textemily.com, free for you, available in North America. Textemily.com will get you into the text crew where I will update you when I'm going live, where I'm going live, if I drop any shorts or clips or anything that will help summarize this case like I have on my Quick Bits channel. That's all at textemily.com. If you don't want to follow there on social media at the Emily D Baker on Twitter and Instagram is where I keep things up to date. So you can find me there as well. So while the streaming schedule is a little wonky, those are the fastest places to stay notified when I am going live or if I'm going to go hop on somebody else's channel, I will normally share it then. Emily, would you have you coach people on 
uh, coach people you are representing on how to dress for court. Love your hair. Thank you. Um, I wouldn't say coached. I have made suggestions. And when I was prosecuting, we don't really represent people. We represent the state. So the witnesses and victims I had come in, I gave suggestions on how to present for court. And I always reminded people, you don't want your appearance to take away from your story. And you don't want the jury to discount you based on their own biases and prejudices. And that was the same for me. I dressed um, very much like a newscaster when I went into court, very basic suits, very kind of dressed down, very plain bob haircut. It was very much less sparkly because I didn't want me to take away from the story I was telling. So yes, I would always give suggestions on how to dress appropriately for court um, because it's needed. Defense attorneys would do this too in trying to get their clients to not wear the county jumpsuit because people see the county jumpsuit and they're like, oh, you're already in jail. You must be guilty. And that's not the presumption of innocence. So trying to get people to actually dress out for court in clothes, not, you know, not, um, jail jumpsuits. So yes, it happens. And yes, it's needed. Uh, I hate the way this woman talks. Sorry, not sorry. Her style is not my favorite. Um, I think it's an interesting choice because we've heard from Amber Heard's therapist that Amber Heard came across with kind of a jackhammer style of talking and would cut people off. And this attorney is, kind of giving that vibe of being very aggressive and very much like, but what about this? And what about this? And what about this? It'll be interesting to see if her style tones down when she gets to direct examination, when we get into Amber Heard's witnesses. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think we talked about that. Have you ever coached someone how to represent in court on dress? Yes. Love your hair. First super chat declined by my Mac. Uh, your bank is like, who are we super chatting? Well, I'm glad it came through. I see them both. So yes, I definitely have talked to people about how to present in court. Um, why I'd the judge allowing her to do this? Why is the judge allowing her to go? She's doing her job. It is the job of Johnny Depp's team to object. She is allowed to to be assertive and aggressive. She didn't cross over the line of really badgering a witness or harassing a witness. And I don't think we're going to see that objected to, especially when it's likable witnesses. If she tries to cross-examine Johnny Depp in the same way, I think the jury is going to find it very distasteful. We are a good sampling. I mean, we've had four to 5,000 people here today. We are a very good sampling of what that looks like and how people take this information. So we will see. Um, hello, Nancy Joe. I had no idea how much Johnny was abused by Amber. I've only seen Amber's abuse allegations in the media. I really feel for Johnny Depp. I appreciate all you do. So easy to listen to and to follow. Thank you so much. Um, I think that's a huge part of this lawsuit. Johnny Depp wants his side told. And the way to get his side told is to bring in all of these witnesses, bring in their marital therapist, bring in all of this information. And if you bring in all of this information, you get to a point where you can actually share your side of the story. And I think that's what we're seeing from Depp's side. This lawsuit is more, I think, about him sharing his side of the story and combating the narrative um, from Amber's side of the story than it necessarily is about winning $50 million. And that's really the heart of all of this. So thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. And thank you for the insight and the question. Um, Diane asked, does it play well to the jury to be so not always, if it's a witness that the jury doesn't like, being strong with that witness can play well for the attorney or for the side. But if it's a witness that people like, it doesn't always play well to really kind of try to beat up a witness that the jury already likes. There is a way to cross-examine without um, being so aggressive unless the witness starts to fight back with you and then you can be stronger, but it always, you know, sir, you were a sound engineer. Yes. Did you, I mean, you were written into all of Johnny Depp's contracts. I was actually, yes. Let me show you. Did you know that? No. Okay. Well, how are you getting paid? Did, why did you think you were on every one of Johnny Depp's movies? There's a way to show that bias in a kind way, unless he starts fighting back with you. And then you can push back because for female attorneys, when male witnesses start to push back and you get a little bit and you can get the misogyny coming through real hard, then when you push back, the jury's not going to be lost. They're going to be like, 
Okay, you go. But this is a very male jury from every report that I've seen, and they're not going to love the way that she's berating these witnesses. It is painful to listen to, even though she's doing her job. I am covering the Black Chan and Kardashian trial a little bit. Some of it, the kind of entree into it is in tomorrow's podcast episode. I have been talking about it on Twitter. It's hard because that one has no cameras in the courtroom. So I will be trying to do roundups on the Quick Bits channel and on Instagram and TikTok at the ends of the day. But that's all going to be relying on other reporting because we don't have cameras in the courtroom like we do here. Um, was Mr. Bailey found in the parlor with Mr. Depp? I think this was relating earlier, but yeah, it was a very confusing question. Natasha, what in the Amica cream is going on, Jeebus? That I mean, it's her style. She got she got some moments in there that again seemed to impeach the witness. Oh, well, you weren't accurate. And the witness is like, oh, I guess not. I guess I had heard about that. That witness clearly discounted it because they didn't, they didn't, it didn't jive with their perception of Johnny Depp. But we know this is a Depp witness. Like witnesses called by Johnny Depp that are biased towards Johnny Depp isn't shocking. The jury's going to be like, um, yeah, he's calling the people that like him. Obviously Amber Heard's going to do the exact same thing. You can point that out and how much he's made in different ways. You know, how much have you made working on all these projects? She should have added it up and asked him that. Um, first time watching you, Emily, you are awesome. Thank you. And welcome. We have lots of new friends. You guys, if you are new to me or to my stream, go ahead and put a one in the chat. I will be able to, um, be able to see that. And with this, again, I have been an attorney for over 15 years. I was a deputy district attorney in the County of Los Angeles. I did lots of trial work, which is why I like commenting on trials because I don't have to prep them like they're my own trials. And we just get to do like UFC commentary and be like, objection, foundation. And that's, that's kind of entertaining for me. Can the lawyers look at the public opinion during trial? Yes. Like done for the day. Let's see what the public opinion is for tomorrow. Yes, the lawyers absolutely can. The jury and the witnesses cannot, should not, not be on social. The lawyers can. It's probably not going to be the trial lawyers. I imagine that these lawyers have paralegals and researchers that are working with them to kind of cull that information for them because trial is a lot of work. But they have very substantial legal teams. I am sure they are monitoring what is being said on social media and in the press. I don't think anyone's culling what I'm saying, but I think they're looking at the overall um, vibe of how things are going. But also, it's not good for an attorney midstream, not live stream, mid trial to change tactics. We saw that go very, very badly for the prosecution in the OJ Simpson trial. Um, based on everything I know from kind of the inside baseball of the OJ Simpson trial, just because that's the office that I worked in, um, and we did actually training on how that trial went, you have to have a trial strategy beginning to end. And while you can shift a little bit, you should not take big swings in your trial strategy. You should have your closing argument. This is what I need in closing. So where do we get there with the witnesses? And then what do we promise them in opening? And that is the roadmap that your trial should take. If you are taking too much external feedback, it can make your trial a wandering mess. So there is a balance between wandering mess and taking too much external feedback and little tweaks of Amber Heard was looking very severe in first week um, and was presenting very severe in court. And because she's a woman, she is going to be judged on that more harshly. She needs to look softer in court. She needs to take a page out of Elizabeth Holmes's playbook and look more sedate. Johnny Depp looked disinterested, distracted, and disheveled with his hair in his face. He needs the jury to connect with him. Pulling the hair back is a great thing. I wonder if over the weekend they looked at how that was playing, but they should be looking looking at how it's playing to the jury first. We're not in that room. We don't feel the tension in the room. We don't see what the jury's looking at, but we can see it as the audience here looking at Johnny Depp at council table, not being able to see his face. So hopefully they took some feedback. I think Johnny Depp having his hair pulled back is very smart. I think Amber Heard toning down the severity of her suits is very smart. I don't know if they have stylists on hand. I mean, God knows they could. So we'll see. Are cross-examinations on a time limit? Generally not. They are limited by context and they are limited by if you have a few key points you need, you need to get those points and get out because as we saw with Isaac, a 
a ill-planned question, an open-ended question in cross-examination can open up the door for a whole lot of information that they don't want in. And this happened to uh, Bredhoft in Isaac's cross-examination. She asked him if he was angry, and he's like, I'm not angry, I'm tired. I talk about this more in tomorrow's podcast. I'm not angry, I'm tired. This is why I'm tired. And what she did is wrong. And these lies have hurt us. And he went on and on and was quite emotional. And there was nothing she could do. She opened the door and ans asked the question that allowed him to give that answer. So cross-examination is better as uh, precision. It's better as get the points you need for your closing and get out. You don't want to give them any more room. Uh, to give the answers that they want to give. Answers that couldn't be solicited by the other side on direct as well. Norma said in the industry, it's commonplace to have all expenses covered plus a generous per diem. Exactly. It's all in the deal memo um, set up between agents and producers. Exactly. You get you get your day rate, but then there's the other things. Otherwise, why would you fly halfway across the world and be on set away from your family for months on end? Nothing that she's getting to is odd. And they will um, surely address that in closing. But the jury should also be like, I mean, obviously you're going to get paid for the work that you do. That doesn't mean you are biased towards Johnny Depp, though the people testifying for him are pro Johnny Depp. They're on his side. That's why they're testifying for him. This isn't a criminal case. This is Depp v. Heard. They're each going to pull people in that are on their side. That's what they're doing. Thank you, Sister Babylon. Um, can you address the yeeting of Barlow? I address it more in tomorrow's podcast, but Eve Barlow was passing notes. She wasn't part of the legal team, and ultimately she was yeeted for tweeting from court. And Eve Barlow, the Depp's team says, is the current romantic partner of Amber Heard. Amber Heard's team seemed to try to deny that in the transcripts and be like, she's not even, but we'll see. Amber's lawyer seemed all over the place. What's your opinion? It might be her strategy to try to not be linear with the witness so the lit witness can't follow the story. It's always easier sometimes, especially with older memory or if it's made up memory, to start at point A and then go forward versus jumping around in the story. It might be part of her strategy. I don't particularly enjoy her style. It is not for me, but she did get some answers that were beneficial to her. And then she got out, which was she needed to get out, like get out. Thank you for the Ponder tip. They have ceased their chaos. I will post what they were doing on Instagram. I was taking some pictures of it. Thank you so much, Corey. Thank you very much, Claire. This is a great question uh, from Jean. Who presents their case first? The plaintiff does. The person who bears the burden in the case sits closest to the jury and presents first. In criminal, that's the prosecution. And in civil, that is the plaintiff. Um, Janice said, did you read through the Duggar transcripts? If so, did anything surprise you? I have not yet. I have been very busy with this. Um, Emily, I really appreciate that you're not making this about disparaging the Me Too movement. I've seen YouTubers trying to do that with this trial. Lotus, I don't think this is the fault of the Me Too movement. I don't think this is the problem of the Me Too movement. Amber Heard's decisions are her decisions. This case boils down to a very toxic relationship and an opportunity for Amber Heard to be heard. Now, do I believe that Amber Heard was never, ever struck? I don't know yet. I think that when the therapist said this was a mutually abusive relationship, that's right now where I'm at. I'm at their, I'm with their marriage therapist. Their marriage therapist said this was mutually abusive relationship. This was an unhealthy and toxic relationship. That does not undo the fact that Hollywood um, was tremendously toxic and that the Me Too movement brought to light how much um, sexism, misogyny, and downright sexual assault can happen in the workplace, particularly in Hollywood. So no, it's just that comes from my own personal perspective. And the fact that when people use a movement for their own gain, it's not the movement's fault. It's created the opportunity, but it's not the movement's fault. It's the same with Jesse Smollett. He used the timing and the, um, the tenor of the country to perpetrate a hoax. That's not, that doesn't, you know, belie what was going on in the country at the time. It was just manipulated for his own gain. And I see if Heard is lying, I see this as being the same thing. She's using an opportunity for her own gain. That doesn't undo everything. But we do have to come to a place where we can ask questions when we hear people's stories and go, 
okay, first, I hear what you're saying. I hear you. But before I take action on I hear you, I need to verify. And and that's that's an important thing too. When we're, you know, when people are losing movie roles and stuff, it has to be based on more than just, well, so-and-so said so, I think. Honestly, I've been watching the other streams with four to five commentators up until now, and you have more personality alone than any of the other streams. Well, Gina, thank you. I definitely am not lacking a big personality, but I do enjoy all of LawTube. And yes, there are lots of streams. We all do things differently. And because Tuesday is my day to do coffee and cursey words, it is why I am streaming on my own for the day. So I don't feel like I'm constantly talking over other people. I have lots to say. And I don't want to come on somebody else's stream and like take over. I tend to sometimes take over a room and I don't want to do that. Question, who is to say that Amber's bruises aren't from Botox or fillers? Hollywood, after Botox, Arnica cream is usually recommended. I mean, it's a good point. It's a good point. And, and we will have to see as she testifies. So oh, we will see. Um, Natasha said, if anything, she hurt the movement by creating opportunity for people to doubt victims. Natasha, I absolutely agree with you. I also think that after all of this comes out, I very much am concerned. And this is, again, I was a district attorney, so I, I see the criminal side of things first. I very much worry that this is going to give abusers the opportunity to say, see, no one's going to believe you. See? They're going to think you're just like her. And I worry that narcissistic abusers who perpetrate relational violence will use this as an opportunity to continue to perpetrate abuse and say, no one will believe you. It is hard enough, especially in cases of sexual assault and relational violence, it is hard enough to get a jury to understand. And a lot of juries don't care. And that is something that is really difficult to watch when a jury's like, this is a private matter. This is a private matter. It's like, um, no. Somebody was put into the hospital. This isn't a private matter. This is an assault. And this is the relational violence that's happening. And it's different than random like stranger assaults. People treat it differently and society still sees it differently. And Me Too has changed that, but not all of this. And I do worry that this will make it easier for those that want to disbelieve based on their own personal beliefs or prejudices that they are going to be able to point to this case and say, well, see, some people do lie. And that is a reality. Some people do lie. It doesn't mean that that's the majority of people. So that's that's where I'm at. And I think this jury might look at both of them at fault. So I worry about that. I think I think it's very possible the jury comes back and is like, all of you suck. I'm done. <laughs> it's possible. Age of Aquarius, hello. Did it look like Johnny was falling asleep to you or was it just me mostly in the first week? He looked a little disengaged in the first week um, to me. And, but it... I'm not going to say that I have had moments in court where I've been like, oh my God, if they don't hurry up right now, court can be very draining. Sitting under fluorescent lights for me is very draining. This can be a very draining process. So for the, I'm not going to judge them. I'm looking tired. This is exhausting. Um, all of this is exhausting. So we will see. Um, Miss Opinion had said Virginia is a very conservative state. It's interesting the trial is there. I think Virginia was chosen by Johnny Depp's team as a strategy to get around the anti slap laws in California. They wanted this to be public, um, and that's no shade. They wanted this to be public. They wanted discovery, and they wanted everything to come out. This facilitates their goals, and that's what civil litigation is facilitating the goals of the client. Question, you sound less certain about whether or not Amber is lying than before the trial started. Has the evidence shifted your perspective? I think there are things Amber has lied about. I don't think she's lied about everything. Um, and a lot of that comes from seeing their therapist talk. I don't think she lied about absolutely everything. I do think she lied about some things. There's proof that she lied about some things. So it's going to depend on how the jury sees it. And, and are we going to get evidence that Johnny had been abusive in some way? And when he says he's never been abusive, that that's going to be proven to be untrue? Possibly. And we will have to see. Um, let's see. I'm going to get to a few more questions and then I'm going to take a break for a little bit. I always get nervous about taking a break, but I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to have to go make sure this stream goes to that stream um, and make sure. So let's see. Um, let's see. As bad as Amber Heard looks right now, I think it's important to wait until two sides have their chance. It, it's exactly it. We're going to have to evaluate what we see day by day. 
each day and know that at the end of the day, the jury is going to have to decide all of this. Um, so let's see. Um, Apple says, I've seen people saying, quote, this is what it means to believe women when it has nothing to do with that. Believe women doesn't believe women means don't assume we're all lying when we say we experienced violence. I agree with you. Believe women means hear what they're saying. Don't just discount it. But you have to, especially when it comes to consequences, trust and verify. And with especially with criminal most filing standards, you cannot file on one person's statement alone. You need corroborating evidence. So if somebody says, I got stabbed and they're at the hospital with a stab wound, um, you start to have corroborating evidence. Then you have to figure out how it went down. So you get um, you get to, to believe and then verify, especially for criminal law. Civil's a bit different. So um, Rebecca said, I've never seen cameras in a civil trial before, maybe because this is a case between two celebs. So it's popular, but this is a first for me. Johnny Depp's team very much wanted cameras in the courtroom. Again, I think there are dual purposes here. Johnny Depp wants his side out that he is not um, everything people have said. He is not this horribly abusive um, drug and alcohol abuser that did all these things to Amber Heard, but that he was also abused. And at the end of the day, I think this trial is bad for everyone involved, but both of them are so locked in and locked horns that that we're not getting out of it without just everything being public. It's all just getting spewed to the public on camera and the court of public opinion will decide and the jury will decide. And those decisions might not be the same and it's going to be wild. Um, Coco said, not Emily keeping the attention of almost 5,000 humans at once. We're having fun here, having a chat. I love chatting with y'all law nerds. Um, so I have not given a lot of comment on the OJ trial. I just, you know, as working as an LADA, we did training on the OJ trial. I've learned a lot about what went on in that trial. And I watched it in real time when I was, you know, in high school because I'm old. <laughs> so with that, um, don't think it was fair that the doctor took Amber Heard word for without checking Johnny Depp's account too. Um, I'm not quite sure what that's relating to, but in the UK case, the doctor absolutely just took um, Amber Heard's side. So it seems to be a largely male jury, but I'm not sure the exact makeup. I will have to look before the next stream. Um, didn't Amber say to Depp, who is going to believe you? Amber absolutely said that on audio recording to Depp. Go ahead and tell them who's going to believe you, which can absolutely happen when men are the victims of relational violence is that our society absolutely does not look favorably on them. And I have seen men um, come in on DV cases, not want to go through the court system because they're like, people aren't going to believe me. People are going to make fun of me. I just, I don't even want to go through it. It is very, very underreported. It is very, very real. Um, if a jury believes it was mutually abusive, Amber should win the case, right? I feel like the defamation aspect of this trial is being diluted. We're going to get back to the defamation at the end because if the jury feels like it was mutually abusive, do they also feel that she was a victim and it was fair for her to characterize it that way? Closing arguments are going to matter very much, and I imagine they will be substantial in length because it really just depends. Um, uh, N.T. Pruitt says, I live less than a mile from this courthouse. This area is not conservative at all. Very fair. Thank you for the input. Um, why is it going to take six weeks? Well, they're only doing four days of testimony. They have lots and lots to go. There's experts, there's photographs, there's witnesses. The witness list is a substantial, and we have Johnny Depp's claims, and then we have Amber Heard's cross claims. So Johnny Depp is going for his defamation case. Amber Heard has to defend that and then get into her defamation case. And then Depp has to defend that. It is a lot. It's going to be a lot. Um, so let's see. You guys, by the way, have been fantastic. Thank you, law nerds, for holding it down in the chat and adhering to our chat rules. We're here to have a conversation. Um, Amanda, I absolutely wanted to answer this question. It seems that this was part of their therapy that they were told to record things. So there we go. Seven men, three women. That's an interesting breakdown, but I think that's good for both of them. So she was recording things. It was part of their therapy. Like she would record stuff and then take it back into their therapist to go through it together, which was interesting. So a lot of that will come in. Um, so let us go and see what else we've got a few more super chats that I'm going to get to. And then I am going to, um, 
yeet myself for a short break for like an hour. And then we will be back on stream instead of streaming at just top to bottom because A, it's easier for me. Do Emily, are less people going to pop back on your stream when you come back? Possibly, but you're law nerds and I love you and I trust that you'll be here. So I'll send out another text and we'll do it. Question, with the therapy records being pulled in, do both parties have to sign that they're allowed to be used? Yes, they do. Both of them have to disclose it and they can't block either one because they're party opponents. So yes, and all of that litigation went down way earlier in this trial. Um, Foe Rothko, I would argue that one who claims to care about the Me Too movement would see this as a win in the sense of a male victim not standing silent. One would hope I mean, it, it's supposed to bring awareness that people are silenced and, and we will see, we will absolutely see how it shakes out at the end. A therapist told Amber, uh, the therapist said Amber Heard told her she abused him. She quote, I assume based on Amber Heard reporting, it was mutual abuse. I think Amber Heard was very manipulative. We will see. Um, we definitely heard the therapist say that Amber would rather initiate violence than have him walk away. So there's, there's a lot to that. Um, my law journal article was chosen for publication. Congratulations, Amy Yost. Um, so many thanks to you in the Lawnard community for your kindness, support, and guidance. Proud of you, Amy. Good job, lady. Good job. So you guys are like, we're coming back. We're coming back. We're coming back. You guys are great. Let me go ahead and link that to this and link it in the chat as well so that you guys know where it is. And then I think I can link this stream to that stream on the back end before I say goodbye. So we're going to try to do fancy YouTube things. We're going to try to do fancy YouTube things on the YouTubes and then um, pop over. So let me see if I can do that and then we will go. So let us do the things. Um, I still think it's weird to lie to your therapist. I mean, I'm sure it happens all the time. There have definitely been times my therapist is like, would you, could we talk about this some more? And I'm like, no. No, we're not. I am completely shut down on this. No, we are not. So I am trying to find something on the back end of YouTube because I think I can set this stream to go to a different stream at the end, but I'm not sure how to do it. Tech, maybe you can go and look at how to do it. I'm not sure um, where I do it. I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find it in the back end while I'm chatting with y'all, which is not always good for me. And let's see if it's in the customization. No, redirect. Ah, I found it. I found it. I found it. Yay. All right. I'm going to go get ready for our new stream. I will be back in just over an hour. We're going to let everybody take a break. If you haven't joined the text crew, now is the time to join text Emily. I am going to say goodbye. I will see you all before court resumes. The jurors are getting lunch. So am I. Set a reminder, go like that stream. I already put it, I already popped it in the thing and we will see you guys back here soon. All right, let's get out of here. Let's take a break. I am, I am adjoining law nerd court until 1245 central time at which court point we will regather here to re, uh, to decompress on the morning and see Johnny Depp's testimony. It is going to be something. And I don't think we will be done with his testimony today by a long shot. So buckle up law nerds. It's a ride today. Connect with me everywhere. I'm at the Emily D. Baker. If you guys will join the text, just text emily.com. If you want to join the channel, lawnerdsunite.com. Happy to have you support what we do here on the YouTube.